Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to Cafe Con Lego. This is your girl CC, and um, this is the 72 hour stream. So I guess I'm your second stop on this crazy train of fun that we're gonna have over the next three days. But joining me, we have um, uh, two guests. We have Butt Chop and Adora Builds. <laughs> Good morning. Hi, all. How's everyone doing? Pretty How's good. The chat is is moving, so let's say hi to some people here in the chat. We got Duck Love Bricks, uh, the Brickhead family, Bubba Bricks, Raptus, John Wayne. We got Doc in the chat. What? Brick Bunnies TV, uh, Steve Reynolds TV, um, yeah, Steve Reynolds TV, lots of TV channels, <laughs> and uh, Bifa, brother from another brick. Is he here? So, yeah, I um, didn't see him. Oh, there, I see him. And Bubble Bricks is gonna try to hit every stream this year, he's at two out of. 30. Wow. So if you, we, we, you know, we were talking about maybe having a uh, a passport where you get stamped each time you go <laughs> to a different stream, but that would be cra that's crazy talk, am I right? Uh, that would be pretty cool. I was thinking about trying to hit everyone, but um, I was running around trying to get everything set up so I didn't get to hop in the ninja stream. Um, but I got it. Oh, you you were setting up shop probably. I got up at ten to one to see Ninja kick it off and make sure I was ready for you. Looks like your streaming area is very nice. I gotta t say that Adora Build streaming area is gorgeous. So <laughs> yes. it's like you guys are setting <laughs> the world. We got three hours that we can enjoy. Um and I hope that the chat, we got some of the best chat members I've ever, chat people I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Miss Neverland uh, yeah, yeah. has dropped in the chat. And also Hoosier. Hoosier Bricks. Hoosier Bricks. The, wonderful, the wonderful Hoosier Bricks is here. Can't and complain about that. I don't know if I said hi to John Wayne yet. John Y? Yes, John Y. John Y is here. I love John Y. I don't know why I want to say John Wayne. That's how I read it in my head every time. Yeah, John Wayne. <laughs> I'll tell you. So I already started Garmadon's Dark Fortress. Looks like, what do you got? Wonder Woman 84. That's actually a cool set. Yeah, so I um, figured I'd go ahead and get this one. I tried to get um, some of the new friend sets, Ruth, as well, but they didn't have any at, at my target that I went to. We haven't got Wonder Woman yet, but that's definitely a set that I want to grab as well. So, <laughs> well, whatever's on sale in the states isn't hasn't hit Australia yet, and vice versa, maybe. So, oh, yeah, yeah, I guess give and take. Well, but yeah, the release the release like cycle for different countries is just crazy. Uh, it's yeah. backed up here, and uh, I don't know. <laughs> don't even get me started. <laughs> <laughs> what what are you building, Butt Chop? I am working on Garmadon's Dark Fortress. I don't have the box or the physical instructions. Uh, right now, I'm working on. I, I just finished the minifigures during uh, during Ninja's skin, and so I got Nia, Naya, Nia. I don't want to say it wrong. The Ninjago kids will come after me. <laughs> but this is a really cool fig of her. her I wish I could get it to here. Let me try to focus it. Because yeah. it's like Phoenix, gold Phoenix prints on her. Oh. On her She's su super cute. I don't think I have this one. I have a lot of her, but I don't think I have this particular one. So uh, this is a set from 2012, I believe. Uh, nice. It was a set I've wanted for a while. So uh, Bama Bricks was nice enough to do a trade with me. And uh, he sent me a couple of Ninjago sets. The other one was the original Destiny's Bounty. Oh, and so nice. 
I know, and I was so pumped to get that, and then the Garmadon's Fortress, so I'm in hog heaven without any hog. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, so one second here. We got our next guest, Sarah Starbrick. Hey, sorry about the weird setup today. Um, That's okay. It's really no early problem. here, and there's other people still asleep. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, no yelling much out. So I'm in my bedroom. <laughs> Sorry about this. What are, what are you, what are you going to, uh, so we didn't see what Adora is going to build. Oh, I'm going yeah. to build an older set as well, but one that I'm super excited about. Oh, the Disney wow. Castle. Whoa. So I did say to CC that I was pulling out a couple of my big sets in order to participate in the 72 hour stream and this is where i'm starting <laughs> so oh, really okay. excited. Awesome. Then, I, I couldn't find any of my dogs bracelets sarah <laughs> I, I couldn't find any of them and i don't want to wake up the people sleeping to find my like rummaging through the house for dots bracelets and they'll be like why'd you wake me up dad i'm just trying to find my dots bracelets <laughs> i wonder if you took them do you think your daughter took some I don't know because she has she has more than I do. Oh, I would hope she wouldn't need mine. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, mm -hmm. I know Sarah was talking yesterday about building the Disney castle. Yeah, I really want to. I have it sitting here. It's so tempting. So, is this a spoiler if I ask Adora a question? A spoiler about. Uh, a certain Mr. Lego Lego maniac. Are you going to be on his stream, Adora? Ruth? He he did invite me because he is extremely kind. Well, he but is that's in the middle of the night for me. Oh. <laughs> and I do need to get some form of beauty sleep. That is not true. Some sort of a difference at some stage. <laughs> this is one weekend. Yeah. <laughs> But I was really happy that CC invited me, and then Kaz from Blockhead UK has also oh, invited me. Yeah, so that will be cool that I'll be doing this one in Kaz's. Fine. You're not supposed to, I don't sleep for the whole thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, well, that's because you're a machine, unlike me, who's a dainty little flower. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm kind of dainty, and I still don't need much sleep when it's the 72 hour stream. Okay, I better get building and shut up. <laughs> uh, just excited to be here. Okay. Uh, Miss Neverland in um, Ninja with the Bricks said that their castle is destroyed by the kids. Well, yeah. So, RIP. Hoosier says, did Chop comb his hair for this? Yes, I did. I, I've been in hair and makeup for about, I woke up, I had 10 minutes in hair and makeup. That's all it takes to get me gusted up. I clean up well, Hoosier. <laughs> yes, I comb my hair because um, this. I, I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to see to see how how well I clean up. <laughs> and I, on the other hand, am doing the first rendition of the bonnet builds. Still got my bonnet on. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's a okay. There's no rules on the 72 hour stream as far as you come as you are. Um, oh, thanks, Richard. Chris. Thanks for saying that was beautiful. I try sometimes. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can only do what you can do. I mean, there were portions in previous years where I was literally um, out of my head from being awake so long that you don't, you know, you're hallucinating, you don't know where which end is up. And it actually makes the stream a little bit interesting because it's insanity, literally. So don't be afraid to like, oh yeah, thank you for noticing, Ninja. Um, is your is your instruction manual bent? Oh, me? Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, oh. it was a little, oh, just a not. little bit, but I've, yeah, I've had it where it looks like a hot dog. Before. Oh, yeah. I've had it bent in two places. So when you try to do the whole roll it the opposite way, it doesn't matter because it's like this. It's like a wave. And you're like, no. Nah. 
Uh, the Brickhead family said, I'll brush my hair this weekend for our stream. Oh, yeah. It's already cleanly shaved. There's nothing to brush, my friend. <laughs> Sir, don't delude uh, yourself. <laughs> Sarah, are you building something? Are you sorting? Uh, yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not usually awake at this time, but... um. <laughs> Is it only like 7 a.m. there, Sarah? Well, it's actually like nine, but I got up to one. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this is like the worst possible time slot for Stacey. She is a trooper, got up in the middle of the night to fill in on an open slot on the stream to fill in for the beautiful Doc Sampson. I set an alarm for 12.50 a.m., to get up for the, she's like, it's 9 a.m. I'm not usually up and around. It's like, what are you, you little, Sarah, you little stinker. Uh, oh, hey, Billy. I didn't get to see you. Billy Crandall's here, yeah. Um, and Bricks for Chris. But oh, yeah, yeah um, Brick Hive had started a stream at like 10 30, and I was like literally on my way to bed, and I was like, I can't stay long. I gotta get a power nap in here. Yeah, that's basically what I. Well, I left. Hoosier was screaming. They did. They were pretty much power champs. They streamed right up until Ninja. So props, uh, Hoosier, Haley, and Nick. I know for sure. I think Carl was in there. Um, they went right up until Ninja. So these people are crazy. But I. I knew I had to get some sleep, so I went to bed early so that I could um, be up for this. And, uh, and yeah, you are right. Uh, Haley says the only rule is pants are required for the 72 hour stream. That's true. We have had incidences with no pants, and that is not a good, that's not good during the 72 hour stream. It, it hurts morale when there's pants <laughs> with people. But, uh, honey, where's my pants? Yeah, I almost thought about it. I was like, oh, I'm just at the table. Like, I don't, I don't need them. I think we need them. What if I need to get up? Then I'm going to be in trouble. Guys, I have to turn my camera off. I have to get up. <laughs> what? <laughs> and uh, that's, that's hilarious, Sarah, that you're like, I'm normally not up at night. <laughs> I mean, nine, I guess I would be, but I got up earlier to watch the first, uh, the first stream. Oh, eight. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. It's like 8 a.m. <laughs> what is going on? You can tell that you're not old yet. Normally. No, and it's, it's also just that I had to move everything into the bedroom really quickly because nobody else was awake here. So. Did you wait until they fell asleep so that you could noisily move it into the bedroom? <laughs> uh, no, but. Okay. That's good. Hopefully I didn't wake anybody up. <laughs> Don't mind me just carrying my anvil collection into the bedroom. <laughs> Why do you need your anvil collection to stream? <laughs> Nothing. That's um, why I just have some random stuff in here. So I have like an old Legoland train, which is pretty cool looking. Oh. Booyah. I pulled Damn. it out of a random bag. Ooh. Oh, nice. I got this at Philly Breakfast, Pants Off Friday. It's a thing. It, it probably is in in, uh, in uh, Australia. Is that a thing, Adora? No Pants Friday? Oh, but it's usually Naked Fridays in Australia. <laughs> the only thing is, is when there's so many poisonous snakes and spiders, I'd want to have as many clothes on as possible if I was in Australia. <laughs> you don't want to get bit. Full, full disclosure. Yeah, the... Honestly, but Chuck, that's exactly what I was thinking. I was like, but the spiders. Yeah. Um, There's so many venomous items. They're usually like really big. <laughs> so <laughs> it doesn't make much difference. It doesn't make me, it doesn't yeah, matter. Or not. <laughs> it doesn't matter what clothes you're wearing. These things are going to get you. Okay, we got it. We get it. You heard it here. So it seems like we got a lot of people in the chat who. You got, don't you're going to have a good turnout because this is. The set to our stream. And uh, Hoosier said something earlier, and and I, I have to agree that him and Nick in hair and makeup would be like lickety split. Neither of them have to worry about hair. So you just throw a little rouge on those boys, and they're out the door. 
<laughs> oh, hey, Shy. Shy time is my time is in the chat. Nice. Yeah, and Brick, uh, Brother BTAP said Shy go to sleep. And Shy <laughs> time said he had to drop in and say hi. So, uh, and BFAB, no thanks. And as long as you don't have your camera on, I guess I don't care about the nude streaming, BFAB. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> well, he said nude streaming coming soon from him, so. He has I'm, to say that for the OnlyFans. So yeah. yeah, why don't you say that for your Patreon people so that they can play secret Patreon. <laughs> Oh, uh, CB Bricks is here. Hello, CB Bricks. Thanks for stopping in. Hey, and you know what, CZ, if you want to make sure that you can get building done, I can always go slow on my set while you and read the chat to you because I'm actually quite adept. Wait, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I'm good at reading the chat, not bad. Okay. Um, yeah. I want to use the right words. I don't know. I don't want to, I'm daft at reading the chat. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Are you also building the Legoland train? It's already built, so I would have to say that I would win on you because I don't. Oh. Oh. There I win. Oh, awesome. I like the preview. <laughs> I got this at Philly Brickfest, and it's a train. So, yeah, it was built, I think, before I left Philadelphia because we went to the, the opening ceremonies for Philly Brickfest in 2019 was at the Legoland Discovery Center. So it was at night. They they close it down, and it's they let all the people who paid to get into Philly Breakfast get to come and hang out and do activities, and they have beer and stuff at the Legoland Discovery Center, and you get to buy stuff from the shop. So I got this, and I think the other set I got was the Micro Bill Castle. Oh yeah, oh, I yes. love that one. That's cute. So, so oh, I, I got, like that. So then I got those two. Because they were, you know, they're Lego Land exclusives, and the other stuff at the store is marked up, so <laughs> you just buy what you can't get, you know, what I mean, elsewhere. But yeah, unfortunately, Sarah, this has been built since 2019. Uh, I wonder where I got mine from then, because I've had mine sitting back there for a while, and I can't remember where it came from. But I've never been to a Lego Land, so I have no. Oh, idea. maybe in maybe in the Netherlands you can buy it at the Lego store. I don't think so, no. uh, but it's possible I bought it someplace like one of these random places that sells a lot of Lego stuff and maybe oh, they yeah, it. Yeah. like a second hand. Like toy, just toy toy dealers, like the toy. Well, we didn't we didn't have an official Lego store in Amsterdam until last year, so there were a lot of stores that are more like mom and pop style stores that sell a lot of different Lego products. Family Bricks is here. Sorry, I'm not interrupting. Okay, oh, hey, Matt Elder. Just want to make sure everyone says hi to Matt Elder. The sweet Matt Elder. Super nice. I don't know what an OnlyFans is. <laughs> um, it's like a, a Patreon, but it I got big. Yeah, it, it got big for like certain celebrities. It's like the MySpace, the Patreon. I'm just kidding. <laughs> nah, it's like, I guess more like the TikTok. It's like new and trendy, but like secret things go down. So maybe oh. more the Snapchat, because like. Okay. If it's new and trendy, you can, you know I don't know what it is. So that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I am, I definitely show my, my lack of new and trendy knowledge when it comes to interneting. But that's okay. That is a okay. Let's see what's going on. Adora build. Be careful on the brown plates. They are very fragile and will snap in half. Happened to me, and I barely pressed on it. Says Mrs. Neverland. Oh. Oh this set has a bunch of old brown, reddish. The old reddish brown because this is from 2012. So I am worried about my Garmadon as well. My Garmadon fortress. A crack, crack, cracking in my hands. Uh -oh. Philly took a toll on my liver is all I know. Yep, liver. I like I need to go to Philly then. Yeah, it is a liver fest. <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing. But, I love um, that Rickfield sign. Ruth, it's so cute. It is gorgeous. <laughs> it, is. It, is, it is amazing. 
That's why I said before you weren't here, Sarah. I was complimenting her stream area. Yeah, I know. It looks so clean and nice. Like I feel really <laughs> <laughs> embarrassed now. <laughs> yeah, you're like, you're like okay. I'm, I'm huddled like a refugee in my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Sarah. It's like she just like fleed the country and set up shop in, in someone's apartment. <laughs> I was actually working from home today on my dining table, which is also where I was building. So it was a quick one swoop off with all my work stuff and a quick swoop on with Lego. That's what I did last night. <laughs> Instead of cleaning up the mess, I just made a mess somewhere else that wasn't on my table. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to show you the rest of my house. Right. <laughs> the mess is. I, just, I just continually move the mess until it's everywhere. <laughs> I don't actually, I don't actually fix anything. <laughs> but yeah, I think yes, exactly, uh, Matt Elder. I'm a dad. Long past the point of being trendy. Like yes, you know, you know what it's like, Matt. After your after your dad you does it, trying to keep up with being trendy is no longer uh, really important. My social status doesn't matter <laughs> when it comes to being trendy. I'm not ashamed to not know what the kids are talking about. Awesome to have a few libations at a park next to children. Yes, Bubble Bricks. He's referring to the. Uh, to them let, letting the adults uh, at Philly be able to take over Lego, the Legoland Discovery Center for an evening, um, which is very cool of them to do. I'm sure it costs money, just like it cost us money to go to Philly, but worth every penny in my, in my humble opinion. Philly Brickfest was like a family reunion with every all your favorite A-Falls in one place. So, I mean, I would have paid twice as much to go. I mean, it was just to see the people. Like, I literally cr cried when we had to go home. I didn't want to go home. Oh, uh, Sarah, are you having audio trouble still? No, I, I, can, I guess oh, no, I'll no. you and bring you back in. She said, she's muted. Technically, she's muted. So, yeah. uh, my setup is so messed up on screen that. Uh -huh. Did yeah, you? also if you're on mobile, like oh, yeah, it, it drops audio sometimes. If, and BFAB's right, if you drop out and rejoin it could. Are you there, Sarah? Can you hear us? Oh. Okay, so she's gonna drop out and come back. <laughs> Don't freak out yet. So Ruth, do you go to um, Brick conventions? Um, there's, there's only really one that we have in Perth. So last year I did attend as a guest, a viewer, but I didn't display anything. Um, and then this year it's just going to depend on what's happening right. in the world as to whether or not it's going to be on or not. So. I definitely want to go and um, have a look at all the displays again and we'll just see whether or not I can come up with something to participate with a display possibly. But quite often with my mocks and that sort of stuff is that they end up getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> I can't I can't build small, I just end up building whole worlds. <laughs> Well, how far, how, what distance is the venue from you? The, I mean, how far do you have to transport your mock if you were to, to show to show at the at the show? Not very far. Oh, like well, forty minutes. Forty minutes is not bad. What? How far did Hoosier drive his? He drove an entire his entire city, <laughs> like twelve hours. So, <laughs> like not nah, maybe ten hours in a in a trailer that. Is nerve wracking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know whether or not I'd have the nerves to be able to do that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Welcome back, Sarah. Can you hear us? 
Yeah, I can. I don't know what's wrong okay. with my MacBook. Sometimes the microphone just randomly disconnects. Sometimes the audio just disappears. I don't know if there's something with my settings. I don't. Have you exercise the demons in the MacBook? You said it's possessed. It is possessed, yes. You exercise the demon. <laughs> yeah, my laptop does that too. And I thought it was just because it was old. Like the, the was it the camera sometimes just like drops off. It says it disconnected. I'm like, how can it disconnect? It's inside the computer <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah exactly i don't get it my microphone just randomly pops off maybe it's Streamyard. i don't know well yeah. do you now yesterday you had your external and you weren't using the mac built in and it was still cutting out yesterday yeah remember you yeah, were like, yesterday i used this same laptop it's just always a problem i thought apple was supposed to be so great yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I was being sarcastic. And exactly. I got I bubba, I catch what you he goes, did you with quotation marks, did you try turning it off and back on again? Like uh, when you call <laughs> when you call for help, when you call the IT guy? Because <laughs> it plugged in. Did you see it was plugged into an album? Yeah. And let's see what okay. I miss. What yeah, Steve it? says uh Ruth, you need to head to Brickvention. Oh, yeah. 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 Where about are you based, Steve? Yes, yeah, Steve. And you, you're Aussie as well, aren't you? Oh, yeah. He baked yeah. out. He's like yeah. extremely Australian. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I think he almost won an award for being uh, heavily Australian. Like, you heavily Australian. Australia is pretty massive. It's pre things are spread out there. If you live on one side, it seems like the other side is pretty far off. Yeah, well, I'm on. I'm in Perth, which is on the west coast. So you're over by New Zealand. Hey, you're near to New Zealand. Obviously, New Zealand's in the east. Yeah. Yeah. So New Zealand's on the east coast. What? Yeah. Oh, because so, you're upside down. It's opposite day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so I think it's about a four to five hour flight to get to Melbourne and about a five or six hour flight to get to Sydney. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, I'm in Western Australia, which is the largest state because we go all the way from north to south. But it's closer for me to probably go to like Indonesia to visit a big brick store than it is to go to Melbourne to visit the brick store. <laughs> wow. So I guess yeah. it's like our um, California. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I've, I've been to California and I'd say that that's very similar to like the West Coast sort of vibe in Australia as well. Oh, um, yeah. Main 10, right, bro? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very, very beachy, very relaxed. Yeah, you know, yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Looks like Sarah. Sarah must have completely. Yeah. Drop. Hidden side. Matt says you have a hidden side laptop. It's possessed. <laughs> and uh, maybe you need a driver update. Bubba Bricks is giving off like major IT advice in the chat. We appreciate that. <laughs> Ran into the bricks may mess with my camera also, Sarah. Yeah, blame. Blame the technology, not the user, right? Yeah, he's in Victoria. You saw that, I think, already, Ruth. Um, so <laughs> Australia is about the same size as the USA. Yeah, it's a huge, it's a huge continent. Um, yeah. There's a lot of distance in between stuff there. So yeah, it's not like... Oh, she's restarting her laptop. Uh, L O L. <laughs> oh, Sarah. Poor, poor Sarah Star. She doesn't. She does not do mornings. She's like the Garfield of the Lego community. I don't do mornings. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is like a grave. I'm. I'm actually building, like a fake grave. That you lay one of the skeleton guys in, right? Okay, so I'll show you. 
I know my camera. I can actually zoom my camera in. Oh. I have the technology. This that goes out to Galagay, my sweet Galagay. Made it so I can oh yeah, look at that. Registered trademark. Just kidding. Here is so here is the fake gravestone. And on the front you go like this. Okay. Anyone who's easily scared, look away. Oh, it didn't work. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> what did I do wrong? Oh, I see what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed so to So much anticipation, Chop. I know. <laughs> it's a chop letdown. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. Okay. Now anyone who's easily <laughs> <laughs> that was so scary. Ah. So that's similar to the um the Harry Potter graveyard set. Oh, they have that function in there too for what that comes out. Uh, it's the um Voldemort. He comes mm. out. Yeah. So let me see if I can grab it. I've had this built for like two weeks and all he had was problem. breaking down stuff. But um yeah, it's a nice set, that one, CC. I've got that, too. Oh, that's cool. That's a nice-looking set. Actually, I remember when that came out. Oh, that's a much slicker function. This one, the whole top has to pop off. So it's like mm. once you pop it, it flies, too. So if you were, like, a kid, you're, like, doing it to scare your brother. And then you're like, where'd the top go? Where'd it go, Johnny? I'm not telling you. <laughs> and you never get to rebuild your set. Because Johnny didn't like getting scared. Oh, gosh. Oh, we're going to back it up. Hi. I like to do okay. that in case I need to give someone the stink eye. I can zoom right into my stink eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what kind of uh, webcam do you have there? But um, this, this, is the, this is the Logitech uh, uh, C920. Okay. Um, actually, in my Toshiba, the built-in microphone and camera died because I would take this to conventions. I I don't have a cell phone, so I would bring my Toshiba laptop everywhere with me when I went to Lego type situations, and uh, it finally said no, 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 and so I didn't have a camera and. The most beautiful and gracious Gallagate said she didn't want me to stop to stop streaming or making videos, so she sent me a camera. Um, and that's the that's how wonderful the the community is and people like Gallagate. Oh, that was a big one. <laughs> you see the sneeze? I did. Oh, I turned on the air. Um, because it was super hot in the room, and um, Mr. CC didn't care, but I was like, I feel bad for you. I'm not going to leave you in here. <laughs> um, so I turned it down, but now it's, like, really cold out in the living room. And you were showing Bricks in Lithuania what you were building. She's building the Wonder Woman yes. 84. Mm -hmm. And Bricks in Lithuania, Adora Builds, is building the Disney... Uh, Castle, the big, mm. the, the big castle. Uh, what is it called? I've been to it. Is it Cinderella's castle? I don't know. The Disney castle. Is it Cinderella's castle. Well, it's actually called. Do you know what it's called, Star at the actual park? Which thing? The castle? Yeah, mm -hmm. it has an actual name. Like when you go to it at the park, the enchanted or the. No, I don't know. Oh, gosh. The I Magical Mystery Tour. No, that's the brutal. Oh, story. yeah. That seems like something I should know, but I... Ooh. No, I was just wondering if you did. I figured. No, I've, been, no. I've actually physically been to it in in uh, Florida, but I... Oh. When you're at Disney World, everything is... There's a ton of people, overstimulation, and mm -hmm. like your, brain, your brain basically explodes inside your skull and you have to reassemble it after you're done. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I don't really remember everything because it seemed like everything was huge and there was characters coming at me and oh, there was a, everyone in Flor who was from Florida thought it was cold. I was in shorts and a t-shirt sweating and there's people from Florida like 
bundled up. I'm like, this is not because it was in November. And yeah, like, under 75 degrees, we start to freak out. <laughs> yeah, I know. My parents are like that too. They also live in Florida, and I will just be sweating while they're like freezing and covering up in blankets. And I'm always like, "What in the world?" Seventy-five, <laughs> freezing out. This is the whole winter. I'm like, seventy-five in Wisconsin is like a night is like too hot. <laughs> That's we don't go old, like over seventy-five in Wisconsin. The place shuts down. <laughs> like no one wants. We're used to like negative something for winter. <laughs> we. I think I well, we we get we get quiet yeah, in October. We're a Celsius country, so I don't always know what Fahrenheit is. Oh yeah, yeah. In the summertime, we get up over a hundred uh, Fahrenheit, so we're usually like up in forty. Oh degrees celsius something yeah it's really hot that's yeah. really oh hot gosh. i'm not really into the hundreds when it comes to temperature <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's but why i'm yeah. glad I, I left florida because i i can't deal it, it, it's not even just the heat there all right it's easy when i was there it was humid and i just mm -hmm. can't stand being sticky all day long it i oh, hadn't really yeah. noticed the the humidity like a whole lot it's just oh. like when you you get in the, I mean, because I guess I'm a homebody pretty much, so I'm not really outside that much anyway. But um, like when you have to drive somewhere and like the sun just feels like it's like a never ending inferno and like you're baking in the car. And then, <laughs> your brain is boiling inside the car. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm outside 20 minutes and I just want to go in and take a nap. Like, stick a fork in me, I'm done. You can eat them now. <laughs> this baked potato is is finished. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I sweat like really easily and I get really hot. I'm always hot. And yeah, people here, they give me some dirty looks. I, I go outside a lot and it's like cooler weather and I don't wear a coat. And people will give you a mad eyeball, like mad stink eye. <laughs> that's weird because that's how I am too. Like I am always overtly warm. And I don't like there was a few winters where I wore shorts all winter. Like <laughs> and people are like, What are you doing? And I'm like, it's I'm comfortable when it's winter. This is my time to shine. <laughs> and other people are like, it's for, for freezing. I'm like, no, it's not na na nice. <laughs> I know I'm the same way. I started carrying a coat sometimes just in my arms, just so people don't think I'm weird. Yeah. I carry it for other people and not for myself. It's just like, yeah, I have a coat. I'm fine. I would never do that. I'd be like, wear a shirt that says, don't look at me, please. <laughs> when I went out, I'd wear like, I'd wear like a, just a tiny tank top, maybe a belly shirt that says, don't look at me, please. <laughs> <laughs> just to rub it in that I, I don't need a coat. <laughs> And I'd also then be removed from the country. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. But I don't understand why they care. Like, it, just because they're cold doesn't mean you have to. Hey, Brett Spills. How are you doing? Ghost freaking hey, talk Brett. is here, too. Ghost Hi, Brett. Brett, good morning, Brett. It's like 7 o'clock with Brett. 8 o'clock where you are, Brett. 8 o'clock morning. Sarah doesn't do mornings, so maybe you should show her how to do mornings, Brett. Yes, please. <laughs> talk her through it. Talk her through it. <laughs> you got to talk her through the mornings is how we do mornings here. <laughs> and who else is here? I was the opposite and always wore a black hoodie no matter the weather. Yeah. Hey, Brick News. How are you? Oh, hey, Brick News. CC's building the Wonder Woman 84 set. Adora Build is working on the uh, Disney Castle. And it looks like Sarah Starbricks is working on the Lego Land exclusive tr uh, train. It's like a little replica of the train that you get to ride at the Lego Land store. Uh, <laughs> I always like double shots of things. Yeah, I always keep a copy of whatever you're, anyone else is building on hand in case I'm just kidding. I, <laughs> I pull out a Wonder Woman box. I've got like Disney character. <laughs> if you were a really good chat MC, you would be able to do that, right? <laughs> Florida Man, a straight G. Okay. 
Yeah. Every time there's a quiet moment in the chat, I get horrified and I look and I'm like, please don't disconnect. Like if it's quiet for a second, I'm like, please, <laughs> please fill the audio. <laughs> so keep talking. No silence or she's going to panic. We don't want to. No, it's okay. <laughs> but every time it's quiet, I look and I'm like, please, please don't have disconnected. It's too quiet. <laughs> <laughs> um, so 840 and I was in Hoosiers with you. Yeah, I know, buddy. I, I remember when you went to bed. I went to bed not long after. Oh, Solo Brick Builder is here. Hi, Solo oh. Brick Builder. Hey, oh, awesome. Man. Hi, Darren. Darren's up for the morning. We've got the UK waking up. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Solo Freaking Talking will be part of the, the 72 hour stream. So make sure to check out their, their uh, witching hour slot. They'll be doing, <laughs> they'll be doing a uh, hidden side. Um, a hidden side talk, and then after that, Slenderman. Mm. So if you like ghosts and spooky bobbles and bits, <laughs> and it doesn't matter really. I could promote every single portion of this and make you want to watch it because every single part of the 72 hour stream is madness in a good way. Just sheer Lego love, sheer Lego madness. Building Bonanza with all the people you know and love and the people that you're going to get to know and love because it's all about bringing everyone together. Anyway, that's enough of that. I just wanted, I just really get it. I'm sorry if my exuberation gets a little out of hand because I get excited every year for this. Um, and it this year even more so because we didn't get to have any conventions some of us some of us didn't get to go to any cons so this is like this is like our con uh, like our virtual con kind of 72 hours of just yeah that's a good point lego people so if you didn't make it to a convention i do love that gizmo mug especially that it has the two handles because i hit a mm -hmm. mug like that when i was a kid with the two handles except it was the quick bunny you know the nestle's uh, quick bunny uh-huh the chocolate quick bunny. I had one of those and it was for drinking your Nestle quick uh, <laughs> milk. And it had two handles. And I, when I was a kid, I thought it was the strangest mug. And I, it's probably so that in case you're left or right handed and you still want to have the bunny facing out. Oh, I love that. Legend of Zelda. Yeah. That that's like my coffee. Waker. Like my iced coffee is in here. <laughs> it's like the Wind Waker graphic. So that's really cool. Mm. I like the Toon Link. The tune link is a cool design for link. I know, I love that link. I have that amiibo as well, and it's so cool. I have almost all the Zelda amiibos, but I just missed probably whatever came out in the last year in the US. Me too. You know, you know what we should do? What? We should do, you and I should do an amiibo stream. I'll break out the whole gambit of amiibos. But yes, no, that we, sounds amazing. Please no, let's do that. I want to watch it, but it would be fun. To I, do. I, I, that's okay, though. <laughs> I just started pulling them out during streams. I'm just going to start decorating with my own stuff. Like, people can just randomly point stuff out. Yeah. Well, it was kind of cute because Doc's like, are those are those Lego Yoshis? And I'm like, no, they're, they're amiibos, Doc, but they're still cool. <laughs> they are cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, Brixo Studios. Rixos, see, I told you the UK is waking up. Look at this, Cece. This is perfect. Uh, we got we got all of it. Ye Merry old England is going to be here. The entire country of England will soon be here. Oh, yeah, Ninja with the Bricks. He also likes Amiibos. He could be in our Amiibo stream. He opens his, and Mrs. Neverland keeps her sealed. Julian's Brick City from Germany. Uh, Hi, Julian's Brick City. I love you, man. He's a great oh, guy from Germany. Uh, we got to see what all countries we're going to represent this year because I think we got last year beat on the international uh, schematic. Um, but so. shop, it's it's a painful topic for me because I used to keep my amiibo sealed. They were all sealed and all perfect, and I had all of them. And then I moved here and I had to open all of them because the packaging oh, just got crushed. Okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> I for some of them. Can I tell you a secret? If you want them to look sealed, I yeah. cut the square in the bottom and removed the little metal patch that blocks it being scannable. So you can cut a square right underneath that, remove that. And so when you set it on a shelf, it still looks 
completely sealed, but you can still scan it on your thing. Isn't that great? Yeah. When I, I moved here, though, I had to pack everything up, and oh, I didn't have space to bring everything, so the boxes just took up too much space. Right. Uh, yeah, I ended up opening most of mine just because um, Jennifer didn't like them all displayed in boxes. They kind of it looks like you're running a retail store. After all. <laughs> I like that look though. That's my favorite look. I love like toys yeah. and packages and looking like you have a toy store at your house. Right. <laughs> I know. I, okay. I it's like that. My house, then, Sarah. Someone who I like that look. Someone who doesn't collect toys does not like that look, especially in the living room. Like they want to have like a proper living room when people come over, and I have it like decked out with like Lego buildings and Amiibo and, and, and toys all over the floor. And they're like, "How old are your kids?" Because there's a lot of toys. <laughs> oh yeah, they're all grown up. <laughs> Man, at least you have kids, though. People people ask sometimes, and then it's like I don't have kids, and then it's just really awkward. <laughs> you know, I, you know what you do, Sarah? Here's what you do. When they ask if you have kids, be like, I used to, but they ask too many questions. And then that person will stop asking you questions about your kids. Be like, I used to, but they got on my nerves by asking too many questions. And they'll be like, we better not ask her any more questions about her toys. Just That's always <laughs> my buying tactic. Like when I'm trying to get something cheap on like offer up or something, I'm like, oh yeah, my son would love this. Oh, yeah, my so son. they don't know that like I'm trying to get like the collector's item. Do you ever do the, I always do like, my starving children would love this toy. <laughs> and then oh, man. Like, you guys, I'm not going to trust people from the marketplace anymore. Because <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad for people too. I People say stuff like that. I'm always like, aw. <laughs> how, is, how is that going to feed your kids? Just please give me a deal on the toy. It's not worth any, it's no good to you anyway. <laughs> Try to talk because about I got this, um, like the Poe Dameron's X-Wing. Oh, nice. for, for like 30 bucks sealed what? and yeah and i was like this is like a 90 dollars set you're like it's my, wow. son, my son's birthday is coming up and yeah, the was only like, thing oh, yeah. he wanted was an x-wing yeah, and I like, I yeah, he's, he's gonna love this <laughs> we're gonna like scam in the, scam in the market for you. <laughs> wow now Man. we know the real cafe con lego <laughs> <laughs> I used to do it at um when I worked at Lazy Boy. I'd be like, yeah, you know, my my fiance really loves this Lazy Boy chair. Like we, we have two of them, <laughs> and I was totally single back then. I was like twenty or something. Like, yeah, it was just a sales tactic. Just selling chairs like crazy. You're like, how do you move so many chairs? Well, I have this sob story about my old uncle who died in one of these, and he said it was the most comfortable place he'd ever died. <laughs> and so people are just buying these chairs left and right. They're they're ready. they're just dying to get in them. And then um, <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, it was a good job because I had to go around and like test all the products and stuff. And be like, yeah, this one's super comfortable. I yeah, sit in it all day. <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah, <laughs> I get paid to get. Sit in this massage chair for twelve hours. I love it. <laughs> That's awesome. I think we missed a little bit of chat. I want to see if we can oh, yeah. catch up. So I'm gonna. You you worry about your build. I'll get you. Oh, okay. I got you. You just you, you can build it. Oh, yeah, Doc Samson, ye old Englanders showing up now. Yep, I told you we're gonna get the whole country in here. We even got my friend Julian from Germany. Okay. Oh, he lost his internet connection for a while. That's where you've been at, buddy. Julian's Brick City. Okay. Well, welcome back. Yep. Brick News is here. Doc saying hi. Uh, Ninja with the Bricks got his Ocarina of Time link in the box. Yep. I actually I opened my Ocarina. No, I didn't open my Ocarina of Time link. I'm talking some mad amigos in the chat. I think. Ninja liked my idea about cutting the square in the bottom and being able to scan it with keeping it looking in pristine. It's a really good idea because I had the, I have the gold Mario. You know, there's gold and silver Mario. Oh. So the gold Mario was like super rare when it came out. You know, one of those things where you're like elbowing old ladies to get to the gold Mario in your Toys R Us. So I'm like. I'm like, I'm gonna keep it in the box, but is it wrong to cut a hole in the bottom? Because when you scan it into Mario Maker, then you get an eight-bit gold Mario. 
Do you really? I thought so. Oh, that's every, pretty cool. In Mario Maker, every you can scan every amiibo and get an eight bit version of that character. Can you do that with Mario Maker Two as well? I don't know. You'd have to ask someone who owns it. Mm. I only own Mario Maker for the Wii U. Hmm, interesting. But it's worth, interesting. It's, worth, it's worth a shot. So. Oh, do you guys watch uh, Just Two Mom play uh, Mario Maker? Mm -mm. No. Yeah, so she, yeah, she streams it with um, with Just Too Good. Uh, I didn't know room. that. That sounds awesome, though. I didn't know that. I know I didn't know that either. Yeah, his mom is super cute. Solo Brick Builder is going to do a souffle. If you do a souffle, just mm. don't let your kids jump around and stuff while it's in the oven. It'll drop. You don't want it to drop. R.I.P. Disney Infinity. Chop the co-host with <laughs> the roasts. Um, that's what Nessie says about the funeral business. Yeah, people are just trying to get in there. That's what I said to my daughter when we go for bike rides in the cemetery. Oh my gosh. <laughs> people are just trying to get in here. And she's like, I don't get it, Dad. And then two years later, she thought it was the funniest joke she'd ever heard. So I just had to wait, I just had to wait until she was old enough to understand the joke. But it just, you know, sometimes dad jokes, they age really well. I'm just kidding. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, you're using your, you still don't have internet. You're using your mobile data. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Oh, Brickstone Studios leaving? You're going to school, buddy. Okay. Yeah. Solo oh, Brickstone Studios left, too. He had to go to work. Oh, bye, bye so home. I suppose they're all getting up and they're not getting up for streaming. They're getting up. Oh, for you, kid. For, for life, yeah. You guys have real life. Most see a lot of people like Bubble Bricks, Nick, that Brickhead family, or Grocery. They take the whole weekend off for this. Oh, that's next, a pro tip. Next year, you guys just take the weekend off. I'm going to give Solo the weekend off. I'm going to give Brickso the weekend off. There's really no reason to do anything but the 72 hour stream. <laughs> that should be considered a field trip for your school, Brick. So if you just watch this, yeah, that's definitely cultural a immersion. Take the time off. I mean, take the, take the time. You you deserve it. Captain Cyclone is here. How's the build going? Well, let's hear from everybody besides. I've been talking, so let them talk. All right. So who wants to go first? Sarah, do you want to show your your progress or or Ruth? Sure. <laughs> Mine's pretty simple, um, so <laughs> it's just a, a roof and my little train here. Oh, that's so cool. Don't mind uh, whatever's happening in the background here. <laughs> okay. And how's the castle going, Ruth? Yeah, I'm getting there. Wow. So um, that's most of bag one getting done, so I'm up to page 46, so yeah. Awesome. Did you build some of it before, Ruth? Or did you only start just on the stream? She just started on the stream. Oh my oh, goodness, she, you're fast. So She's a power builder. Yeah, I, she, opened yeah. Bag one, she opened bag one right in front of us. So Whoa. there's video evidence that she's, ooh, here we go. Oh, um, wow. Just, I could turn it to the light. Yeah. No, that's good. So nothing too much happening right now. So we don't know exactly what that is because that movie isn't out. Is that correct? Yeah, the movie's not. It got pushed back to October, I think. Right, right. Okay. But I know that that's got some great printed pieces for those uh, like solar receivers or whatever those are for the you know, whole mess of those printed uh, two by twos. And um, Billy keeps asking me, um, and I'm sorry, I keep missing it, but um, which is my favorite fig of the set? Oh. And I mean, there's only three. <laughs> so I'm going to have to go with Diana here. Sorry, Billy, I missed that question. Um, oh, she's cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, the oh, wings and her, her gold torso. Yeah, the she's wings. Nice. Are, those are the wings from the Pharaoh's oh, Yeah. I might have to get that. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Billy. I missed your. I missed the, your the cheetah is my least favorite because of my trypophobia. So all the dots on it just kind of like give me chills. Yeah. Yeah. 
I like all the mini figures with cattails though. So I'm probably have to yeah. get this set. Yeah, it's pretty good. You get a lot of like dark tan and light tan pieces and like some of this foliage. And I wish I would have opened this last week because I just ordered some of these on Bricklink. Like yeah, the olive. Yeah, the olive. Yeah. Those are cool. Actually, Jennifer was asking me why we don't have more of them in olive green because we're doing we're doing the yard for the for the uh, haunted house set that just came out the big one with the drop and we're we're doing like an extended yard and so she wanted a whole bunch of the olive green brand or leaves like you just showed and I'm like I'm sorry I don't have any more. <laughs> she said, why, don't any, why don't you have any more of this color? Jen wants them for customizing the yard, and I have to let her down. Sorry. Like, I gave her the. I told her we're brick light I'm just kidding. <laughs> I should have ordered her some. You're right. Okay. Yeah, don't <laughs> use up all your data watching this, Julian. You can, catch it, you can catch it on the replay when you get in the internet back. Have a good one. It was nice to see you, Julian. That's why I haven't seen them around. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Hi. Oh, um, Captain Cyclone, hello. Yeah, I said hi to him. I mainly click Lego Star Wars because, well, I'm a Star Wars fan. That makes a lot of sense that you collect something that you're a fan of. I can completely relate to that. I also collect things that I'm a fan of. And uh, Doc Sampson would like to know how different is the Cheetah compared to the collectible minifigure version. Now, she said she had a phobia, so we don't want to, like, trigger it. <laughs> um maybe she yeah. um I don't know. I, I cuz I don't have the CMF version cuz every time I get the DC CMFs I get um Flash or Bumblebee. But chop, where's where's the Cheetah CMF? <laughs> I don't have it. You're supposed to have all the stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have the series 14 Cheetah girl. I actually do have the cheetah at CMF somewhere, I think. I think oh, I do I have that one, but I don't know where. Are they different colors? Is that what it was? One's well, lighter and one's darker or something? I don't know. I think, I think there's the main, yeah, I think Adorable's right. I think mm -hmm. that one is from the new movie, and the one that came mm -hmm. in with CMFs was supposed to be, like, how she looked in the old, like, comics, like, when she first Correct. came out. Okay, yeah. so, like, more orangey, probably. Yeah. Like it's, I think it's like that was a lot darker, like a more dark yellow. Yeah, like old, old school comic looking, where mm -hmm. this one is probably more cinematic, if that's makes mm -hmm. sense. See, I don't buy licensed games, Sarah, so for me to pull out a licensed CMF, you're not going to see. Wait, why not? I don't buy any licensed themes. I only buy non-licensed. Oh, you don't? I didn't know that. Yeah, I quit, I quit buying it because... Uh, it's just there's too much stuff out. So if I cut licensed out, uh, I just buy the Lego themes and I call it the the Lego EU. So it's like a Lego expanded universe. Hidden side, Ninjago City, those are all one expanded universe. That, so those um, are fine to buy. Like you can get hidden side sets. Right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, Anything okay. just not, like, not like no Harry Potter, no Star Wars. Yeah, I just don't pay big business. Fair enough. Oh, cool. I like her money bag, though. So oh, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, so it looks more, I guess, what you would think a cheetah yeah. would look like. Um, and that one looks like, like a, a hat piece. piece. Yeah, that looks like a cheetah costume. Mm -hmm. I, you think from that hat headpiece we're going to get a bear outfit with that? Or some kind of, I, what do those ears remind me of besides a cat ear? They're rounded. Yeah, so I guess I think, like a, a little bear. I think of cat ears as being pointed. Yes. That's that's just me. But he does have more rounded ears, though. The animal itself also has a more rounded shape to the ear as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ears. <laughs> is she going to go all oh, were cat in the movie with CGI face? Oh, were cat? Hopefully not. What is does that fig from that set you're building, CZ, have two faces on the cheetah? Yes. She are, does. They both, are they both human looking or is one cat looking? No, they're both cat looking. 
Oh, great. Yeah, we're probably going to get a CGI cat, werewolf, werecat. Oh, okay. Yeah, she looks. Hmm. Yeah, it's a, a printed. I do have the cheetah figure. I do have, when I used to collect license sets, I did have DC. Um, and I'm waiting to trade my DC to Pop's Black Shop. So let's see if I have that cheetah, which I think I do. I have this Gorilla Grog. <laughs> I have a lot of DC figures. I used to collect DC, not Marvel. And then I quit all licensed. Here, this is the cheetah that came. Hey, boys. Oh, yeah, the other cheetah. Mm -hmm. This is the... Her other face is also mad. <laughs> what does she come with? Oh, that is such a great question. And I'm sure someone in the chat would love to answer that. <laughs> I hope you do. I like that figure. I see she has a cattail, so I got to get it. I'll email it to you. Email it? Yeah, it was a joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, she came in a DC set. Like I said, I used to buy every DC set. And then I quit because also I got sick of Batman sets. Um, but yeah, like I even have all the rare guys. Um, I have both the Matt Martian Manhunters, the Polybag, and the set one. Oh, wow. Um, you've got the, uh, who else you've got? I don't know. Trickster, voiced by Mark Hamill. Oh, cool. Mm. Um, I've got all the night wings. Oh, yeah. man. Some cool minifigures. Yeah, any DC I fan, love any I love DC fan would like this. I got three. Th uh, I got three different Lex Luthers. One is in the business suit. And then I got all, I got th uh, all three. What is he? Green Lantern. So I got Hal. Mm -hmm. uh, Jessica Cruz, and is that her name? Am I, am I butchering this? Um, where's the girl? Where's the Jessica? Uh, she's in here. She better be. Oh my! Oh, here she is. So got, is, is I don't know one from Defenders or something like that. Oh uh, yeah, they're such good movies. We are the Green Lanterns. Oh, Green Lanterns. We are yeah. the Green Lanterns. Do as we say. <laughs> Give us all your green stuff. Oh, that's not their real voice, so do not take that as canon. <laughs> <laughs> and these guys are, this is him turning into Superman. And then there's, uh, what is he, last Plastic Man? Elastic yeah. Man? Plastic Man, mm -hmm. and then I have Cosmic Kid and Lightning Lad, and they never made Saturn Girl. Isn't that sad that they made the three, or they made two of the three? <sighs> hey, that looks like my cat. Come here. That looks like my cat, Hefe. It, it's not technically my cat. Yeah, I locked her out of my room, and now she's going crazy outside, so I had to let her back in. Oh, my cat's a boy. It's not. It's my son's cat, but he's never home, so I feel like it's my cat. And I never wanted a cat. <laughs> oh, no. Um, well, I don't, I don't particularly like taking care of pets that I didn't purposely get. But <laughs> if you're a dad... The kids, the dad life. <laughs> the kids get, <laughs> kids get the pets, and you take care of them. It's kind of a thing. Anyway, that was my DC figs. And those will be going hopefully to Pop's Block Shop. Yeah, only two of the founders. I don't. Know. I wish. No, there was no Saturn Girl minifig ever made. She was in a DVD, which. 
uh, Cosmic Kid came in a DVD and Lightning Lad came in the Target queue. I used to be quite the DC collector and then I, I said, I cannot afford this Lego thing. These Legos are killing me. And actually my yeah, doctor, my, my doctor said, if you keep buying Lego, you will die in a matter of weeks. So I had to cut back. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you believe that, then I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> so, I'm going to see if I can build this. I really do not like computer instructions. Do the instructions on the computer, like, can you move them or are they just printed? Yeah, I can move them. It's a PDF that you download from the Lego.com, but I still, uh, they're, they're just hard on the eyes. Have you ever, has anyone else in the panel built with, had to use the PDF instructions because you don't have the paper? Yeah, and I find them to read as well. Some of the colors look really wonky, and I already have red, green color blindness. Oh. So I tend to like to have the physical instructions for bigger mm -hmm. sets, especially maybe for like a small set, like a hundred piece set, no big deal, right? But this is a pretty large set with two full size instruction books. It's a you know, it's a fortress. It's a full size of a castle. <laughs> so I don't know how well I'm going to enjoy this. But whatever. Sometimes I'll brick link the instructions if I don't own the physical instructions, but I did not do that with this. And I, I recently, I just got this set recently. I'm not, maybe someday I will. Brick builds no room for baskets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you talking about the cat? Is you talking about the cat? Hi, hi. Oh. It's a super bike. Basket on the hand. Oh, he's talking about his bike. You, you made a healthy decision, Chat says. Yeah, no, I had to cut something out, and really, I, I don't enjoy a lot of the licensed themes anyway, so I figured that'd be the best way to uh, cut down on spending and there's already, without license, there's so many sets I want without even including license that I was like, I can't even afford the non-licensed I want, let alone license. So something's got to give at some point. Because Billy Crandall, my cat's name is Paris. Paris? Paris. That's all. She likes treats. Sit. Come here. She's oh, sit. Good good. sit. My cat does Give me a high five. High five. Oh. Are you serious? This is the best yeah, she's trained. <laughs> wow, I love that. He's a good girl. I'm very impressed. <laughs> like, I'm not a cat guy, but if my cat did that, whew, I'd, be, I'd be in cat heaven, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> she's very obedient, but she's also older, so I've trained her since she was little. Yeah, I think my son's cat is pretty young, and he's a shyster. He he knows that all the Lego is mine, and he chews on it. He chewed on the haunted house right when we were building it. We weren't what? even. Coming. Yeah, he chewed it on my Lego, and he now he, today he was trying to chew on my lava castle, and I caught him and I said, "What are you doing?" And he jumped down. He knew exactly what he was doing because he looked right at me <laughs> and started chewing on the piece. I'm like, Oh no, I would be very upset. Little brat, I said. And then I asked my son if he was gonna pay for the replacement parts on the haunted house. I'm like, I just bought this expensive set and your cat came and chewed it up on it. And he goes, what? How, how, how expensive is the piece? I'm like, I don't know, 20 bucks? Just kidding. <laughs> I was being, I was being, <laughs> you know, dads are kind of a, a old sometimes. I was doing that. <laughs> It doesn't matter how much it was. Your cat was biting it up. 
Yeah. Uh, cats. But he knew, he knows it's mine. And um, I'm the only one that, uh, what do you call it, disciplines the cat. So he kind of like, it's kind of a battle between us because everyone else like lets the cat do whatever he wants. And also like Indigo who's 12 takes the cat's well-being takes precedence over my well-being or her mom's well-being. Like if it's not good for the cat, then we, you know, we worry about the cat being upset before we worry about the humans we live with. I said, no, 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 no. As long as the cat's okay, if you're if, if you're feeling sick, I, it doesn't matter, Dad. But if the cat is upset, we don't want that. <laughs> She's sweet. She just loves the cat. <gasps> Galligate's here. Galligate. Galligate. Oh, Hi, Galligate. Good morning. And, Gal and Brick Ninja says Galligate is here. Now the 72 hour stream officially starts, which is true. She is the stream queen. I think mm -hmm. she has more streams than any other human on the entire planet. And I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> I wish I was exaggerating. Galligate has been at more streams than any other human. If there was a world record, she's got it. Award it to her. Here you go. Award. Here's your award. <laughs> this is your award. Congratulations, Caligate. This is your one million stream that you've been to. <laughs> wow, that's a nice award. Yeah, mm. There you go, Caligate. That's a really cute cake. Is that from the uh, Friends Bakery competition? Oh, no, no. This is from the birthday set. Oh, with the really? clown? Yeah, the Lego store. You go oh, Lego I like store. that. That looks nice. You can get it from Lego.com. Somebody out there in the chat, will you get this Sarah Star uh, birthday cake? Come on. Yes, please. <laughs> Send all your birthday cake builds to Sarah Star Bricks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the new, you know how they have the in-store sets or whatever? Wow, look at, yeah, you're right. The door builds has got that thing. The staircase is all done. It looks great. It does look good. I'm going to zoom in. I tried to go to the Lego store today, and I was peeping in the window, and they have that set. So, Is that why they got the restraining order on you, Shizu? <laughs> <laughs> no, they were closed. I, I, know, I know. I'm just kidding. But you're like, I, I, was peep, I was peeping in the window. It sounds a little bit <laughs> Well, because I was so, like, sad, and I was like, I just need to experience it because I drove all the way there. I think it's and then Lego lock the doors. And then I found out that it closed like an hour before. So I was like, "Are you kidding me?" It's like it's the worst day uh, for Lego. Like my Lego luck was it, bad. It like was, I, it was open, but then when they saw her, they're like, "Close the doors." <laughs> Cafe I know that sounds like, super hilarious. Peeping in the windows. Shut the lights off. Hide behind the register. Shut the, Put the blinds off. down. Get me down. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I, was like, I just want a new set because I went to Target earlier, and the only sets I knew that they had were like the the Avengers sets, and I was like, I don't really want any of these. Yeah. So I mean, I kind of want the. Uh, was it the uh, Peter Peter Ham Spider Ham? Oh, yeah, but Peter the, Porker. That's his Peter name. Porker. Yeah. <laughs> they made that. Yeah, it's in the um the Venomosaurus uh -oh. Rex. I was oh, like, yeah. I might have paid eight dollars for it. MJ Just bought that. that. MJ Bricks bought that Venomosaurus Rex or whatever. But, you know, I don't like, I know what you mean, though, because I don't like settling. Uh, like, you want a new set, but you go there and you're like, okay, everything that they have here, I don't want, 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 but I really want a set. And I hate when you settle and buy something you didn't want, 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 and then later on you don't have the money for something that you really did want, want, want. And you're like, oh, I just spent my money for my want, want on my not want, want. <laughs> exactly. Because then when I 
was once again peeping in the windows at the Lego store. <laughs> I was like, well, they have Captain <laughs> Martin here. They have the Stranger Things set. They have the castle. Like, I was like, they have everything that I want. So I'm not going to spend almost the same amount on a set I don't want. Maybe if you get a disguise, they'll open the store and let you in. I know. Yeah, I'm going to have to get like a fake mustache or something. Like <laughs> Why well, it's not me. It's I'm. It's just me, Kelly Ho. Not <laughs> on Lego here. Don't worry. <laughs> A monocle and yeah, get a monocle and a top hat. Hello, I was wondering if I could buy some Lego sets. No, I don't know Cafe Con <laughs> Lego. Never heard of it. It's a Cafe Met Lego, like in <laughs> Dutch. <laughs> Cafe Met Lego. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ca ca Cafe Con Lego. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you just gotta sneak your way in there, then you won't have to peep in the windows anymore. And that'll be nice. Because I feel bad that you have to do that. Oh, so sad. And I was at Target, <laughs> and I the Mandalorian um, brickheads, and I was like, okay, great. <laughs> awesome. Like, cue the sad, sad soundtrack. Cue do you that. put your hands up all around your face when you're peeping yeah. in the windows? I sure did. <laughs> 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 There's like water on the window from her tear. <laughs> the sad music playing in the background. The face print on the glass and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Nose jam all over the. Oh, I just want to say. That is sad though if you go all the way there and you can't get in. Yeah. And like, I guess the, the parking garage at the mall doesn't like care how long you were there because I was there for like less than 10 minutes. Oh my God. And they still charge me three bucks. And I was right. like, you, it's one of those like, yeah. oh, cool. That's the tuxedo Mickey. Yeah. Mickey's mini fake. She's got that. Oh, wow. Now she just, put, now she just takes it away. Right. When it gets oh. Out. Thank you for that. <laughs> wow, that looks so the, cute. Let's see the coattails on that, the fabric coattails. Oh, nice. Oh, so cute. Very dapper. Okay, that's get better. Oh, I love it. Very Is that dapper. like the Fantasia Mickey? Where he's like conducting and stuff? Oh. Yeah, I didn't know if it was Wedding Mickey. There's so In the Fantasia, though, he is the orchestra conductor, isn't he? And he oh, had the orchestra wand. Hmm. Well, I can only remember the, the magician hat in Fantasia for um, Mickey. Yeah. Well, there was that part. Yeah. Well, there was one where he was the orchestra. Yeah, you're talking about when the when he makes the mops come to life. Yeah, the brooms and stuff. The chores, and then yeah. all the, they make a mess, end up making a big mess. <laughs> That's to teach you a lesson that you don't use magic to clean up. You do it the <laughs> right way. Okay, kids. <laughs> No more spells when your mom tells you to clean up. But we all know that if we could use magic to clean up, we would use magic to oh. clean up. Oh, oh sure. yes, like Matilda. Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> the new Pepper Potts rescue mini figure? What's that? Oh, uh, yeah. She's. Is she in the tower? I don't know. That's what Billy Crandall wants is the new Pepper Potts. Rest me figure. Yeah, it looks good because it. I think it's in red, so it gives you like the the female body, um, for the Iron Man, or is it in purple? I don't even know what he's talking about. Well, I think that she's usually in purple, isn't she? Oh, okay. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Even, I don't even know who Pepper Potts is. Uh, Iron, Iron Man's girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Oh, Iron Man has a girlfriend? I thought he was too drunk to have a girlfriend. That's cool. <laughs> I didn't know he had time for ladies with all that booze in that he does in the comics. She's well, played by Gwyneth Paltrow in the movies. Yeah. Oh, and Captain Cyclone did give you a virtual birthday cake, Sarah. Wait, really? Yeah, well, virtually. He said give Sarah the birthday cake. Oh, the, that's so nice. My birthday's in February, but thanks. <laughs> <laughs> And Gal Gate said she's been taking a break from the YouTube. That's okay, Gal Gate. Like you, I, I'm surprised you don't need more breaks than you take. 
honey, because you literally overdo it, I think. You know what I mean? It's good to step away and step back in. And everyone's always going to be here happy to see you when you decide to come back from your break, Gallagher. Okay? Let's see. And oh. Gallagher just noticed that Ruth is building the Disney castle. Yes, she is. <laughs> and BFAB said Pepper Potts is Iron Man's fifth baby mama. Oh, I didn't even know he had that many baby mama. I guess if you count all the the time loops that they made. Oh, so like alternate reality baby mamas? That sounds kind of fun. You just go back to your other dimension and you don't have to worry about it. Or <laughs> I know. Such a tricky idea. It's like, uh, you're aggravating me. I'm going to go over to this reality. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead over to the other dimension. She's not mad at me right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back later. <laughs> Don't call I don't know me. how it would feel. Like, don't call me. I'll call you. They're not. They're not cheating. Like, but they technically have another family. Yeah, that's kind of like weird. I, I don't know the stipulations on that because it's so multi-dimensional. You know, like it's me, but it's not me. <laughs> it's just there's like <laughs> one, like it's you, but you have a birthmark on your butt cheek, so you're different because it's a different dimension where like one thing is different. That's crazy how the parallel dimensions looks like the same place, but one little difference, possibly, or a lot. Yeah. But uh, what was I going to say about someone in the chat? Oh, Billy Crandall says that his cat knocks down all his minifigures, which that sucks. My, so my cat shoes up. Well, it's not my cat. This imposter cat who's my Lego and yours knocks down your minifigs. That's what they do. What's uh, your cat's rest? name, Billy? Billy, tell us about that cat. Tell us about many Yeah, Billy cat. Billy, Billy, Billy cat. Okay. <laughs> the flathead. Yeah, certainly not getting that one. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Bubba Bricks pre-ordered the Mandalorian and Child Brickheads and still waiting for it to arrive. I think I've heard other people saying waiting for their stuff to arrive as well. Mm -hmm. And BFAB said Ryan picked him up the Brickheads from the Legoland Discovery Center. <laughs> Monaco. Yeah. I, I really have the worst luck with Lego. It's like when I'm in Florida, like Virginia is getting things early. And then when I'm back up here, Florida's getting stuff early. <laughs> it's like they know where you're at. Kind of like when they shut the Lego store when you're about to get there and you have to peek in the windows. <laughs> yeah. I need to like, turn my GPS off because I think my FBI. I feel bad. Yeah, like, my phone is like, all right. Under surveillance. Somebody's watching you, CC. I feel bad for her because you don't deserve this. <laughs> You've been like. Lego or someone is trying to stop you, and I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. It's okay. I will prevail. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's the thing is tenacity is how you're going to win this battle. <laughs> Captain Cyclone has a pet, and his dog is named Link. And yes, Link from The Legend of Zelda. Ooh. Billy's Crandall's cat, Sarah, is named Dottie, and she's a lady. I was just writing in the chat to him, but now I don't have to. And I'll just say that that is a very cute name for a cat, Billy. Dottie. Dottie. It's Dottie the cat. Dottie. Especially if you made her a Dots collar. Yeah, oh. exactly. Am I right, Billy Crandall? We make her a Dots collar? Oh, hopefully her neck is small. I really want to do one for Paris, but I think you need two of them to connect together. Right. Yeah. I can only get... I was hoping I could comfortably get three dots bracelets on each wrist, and I could only get two per wrist. And that makes me mad because I wanted to have gauntlets, like full gauntlets of, like I wish they would make some bigger ones so I could have like my like dots bracelets from my mid forearm all the way to my wrist, like a gauntlet of dots bracelets, like metal stuff. Yeah, what do I mean I can do? I have little wrists, so I could probably do... Maybe I can only do three as well, actually. Yeah, they're like almost as like they're made for kids. Boo! <laughs> boo! We want a fall dot hashtag a fall dot bracelet. Yeah, the, that is that is the first inside joke of this year's is Cece having to 
having to creep on the Lego store. <laughs> 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 and them not letting her. I know. Anymore. I think I think Family Bricks needs to draw this. <laughs> yeah. We, oh gosh, Matt, if you can hear me now, we need a CZ creeping on the Lego store and all the employees hiding behind the register for turning the lights off. <laughs> 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 Just I'm gonna, I'm just gonna it. imagine it as like they were gonna give me a surprise party, but then yeah. I didn't try to open the door. Surprise! Wait, hopefully she opens the door. We didn't lock it. And then he never did. And they're like, that's You know that scene in movies and shows where somebody is outside, like the family home, and they're all inside, like all warm and cozy, having dinner. And there's always that, that person outside that's just like crying outside the window. Yeah, like, like, the, <laughs> yeah, like CC has an orphan. <laughs> outside the Lego store. Or, like, orphan oh. CC. <laughs> I do. I would imagine that no, we don't want to portray it as being that they wouldn't let her in because you know they want her business. I have two as well, but shop the third just hangs off. What? I'm wait. I'm messing up the chat, aren't I? Bubble bricks, but just adopted a stray cat named Willow. I love that. Name. Oh, Willow, Aww. like from and uh, Buffy. Aw, that's cool. And Vfab's gonna go to bed, so good night, Vfab. Good night, good night, Vfab. I was gonna say yeah, it's Vfab. really early for you. Well, he had a rough day yesterday. He was uh, hitting the bottle a little heavy, so and his teeth are hurting him, so he needs to get to bed. Oh no. Yeah, he was at Sarah's stream, and he was a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, that was really? a very interesting stream. Yeah, he's like, I oh, love was you. he was he actually in the stream or no? Like he was in the chat, like under his real name account because he was that tipsy. Oh, oh I had God. no one knew who he was, and I'm like, hi, Bfab, and everyone's like, Bfab's not here. I'm like, that's Bfab. He's just under the wrong account. He's like, I love everybody. I'm, I'm <laughs> drinking. I've just been drinking a little bit. I know it's only eight o'clock in the morning, but I'm freaking out. <laughs> No, it was later than that, but it was still pretty early for him to be tanked. It was like two in the afternoon. Yeah, he was, he was already sloshed. I he, think he went grocery shopping. Or he was loving everyone. I love him I love <laughs> so much. I love you. I think that's the weirdest, the weirdest stream I've had so far by a lot. <laughs> really? Just have beef have it more of your streams. It'll get weirder. I promise. Uh, he usually sure. comes though, but he's usually uh he's usually in the chat. I know. I was just kidding, sir. <laughs> I was just joking around. I'm too afraid to have him on uh on in the camera because I don't know what to expect. I'm afraid. Well, it's not gonna. It'll no longer be G-rated if that's what you're like. Even if you tell him, <laughs> it'll slip because I've seen it slip when people are like, "Okay, let's keep it." Let's keep it family friendly. It's like on his channel, he'll be completely family friendly and like talks in his fake voice and stuff. But then if he's on someone else's stream, it's like no filter. And sometimes some of the most awful, heinous things come out. And you're like, hey, wait a second. You don't do this on your channel. Oh, <laughs> you just come to my channel and do this kind of job. Thanks. He's hilarious, though. He's he's really provided me with a lot of entertainment in the last few weeks. Oh yeah, I'm not saying anything wrong with them. I'm just saying it's there. It is kind of a. We didn't say hi to Ingrid at all. Oh my gosh! I know. Oh, I wanted to. I saw her. Or hi, Simon Ingrid. Moss. That's my fault. I'm gonna go. Hey, I'm Simon. gonna step away. Hey Ingrid. We need you guys catch up on your highs. Ingrid says Beef Ed is one of her favorite people. Good. You don't expect me to be perfect. Yeah, well, no one's perfect, Ingrid, and that's okay. But sometimes there's a thing called respect when you're on someone else's. Like, if your own behavior, if you're doing behavior you wouldn't do on your own channel, maybe that's not respectful of someone else's channel. That's all I'm saying about it, and that's it. But I think it's just like his his character, like not like his his personal character, but just like you know. Is persona, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. But I must admit, like, language on YouTube is a tricky thing because even, you know, in Australia, things are a lot more relaxed and, mm -hmm. you know, 
there seems to be a lot more swearing, even on TV and mainstream media and, you know, on the soaps and all of those sorts of things. And that was one thing that I was really conscious of in my videos is to try and make sure that it's respectful for everyone mm -hmm. because I wouldn't want, you know, people that are from a more conservative background or from, you know, whatever to then be put off enjoying the, like, what they love and their hobby and joining in with the community and all of those sorts of things. So, you know, that's one of the things that I've always been quite mindful of is not to go to Australian. <laughs> I like that. Not go to Australian. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's so, it's just different. Like I just, you know, Yeah, I haven't seen too many Australian shows except for, I mean, like, besides kids' shows, because there is the one about the the girls who turned into mermaids. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That, um, was. that was my jam. Yeah. Love that show. Um, with, oh, goodness, Phoebe Tonkin, uh, who was also in Vampire Diaries. But then the, I think it was on Netflix, it was, like, dating dating blind or something like that it was a australian show where it's like you know those restaurants where it's completely pitch dark and you go and you like you eat your food but you the only senses you have are the ones beside sight yeah. and um but that's pretty much what it was but it was for people dating and i was just yeah, like, I heard about those restaurants i don't know if i would go to one of those places though i don't i don't know <laughs> like would you eat in, in the pitch darkness i don't know it sounds kind of scary I, I don't know like people moving around you and stuff i don't know how i feel about it yeah i don't think that that's my thing either sarah <laughs> no i don't really like scary stuff and it just sounds kind of scary yeah okay. i can see that i don't know it's just yeah, I guess it it would it would be it would be super weird. Like it sounds kind of like an interesting experience. I love food, and I guess the thing is, it's supposed to be sensory, right? Like you're supposed to dampen all your other senses so that the food tastes better. I guess, right? Yeah, but yeah. I feel like you really eat with your eyes. I agree, and I feel the same way. I feel like your nose and your eyes is a big part of enjoying food. Like, I want to look at it and see how pretty it looks and take pictures. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like, I've tricked Mr. Seasty into thinking that I cook well because I just try to, like, present it in a, a nice way. <laughs> yeah. It looks beautiful, but it tastes horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, yes. I think I think Bluey's the the Aussie show about dogs, Blue Healers, which is Aussie, and Neighbours and Home Away are both Aussie as well, Billy. Mm. A lot of our um, Australian actors that you might have heard of have usually started in either Neighbours or Home and Away. Are those like drama programs or? They're sort of like soaps, <laughs> like okay. soap. But they're an Australian version of that. So it's sort of not quite like Days of Our Lives or Bold and the Beautiful and not quite mm -hmm. like, say, East Enders or Coronation Street, but it's sort of that that thing, that sort of, it's, I think it's the easiest way to describe it is that it's a soap. I think that makes sense because it's like that in the Netherlands as well. Most of the famous uh, Dutch actors started on the soaps here. And I don't really watch the soaps, but I guess they're very popular for people to get to know actors or for people to kind of make their star. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So I think like um, Margot Robbie, she started on Neighbours, whereas Chris Helmsworth, he started on Home and Away. Wait, Margot Robbie's Australian? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so late to the party. <laughs> How did I not know this? <laughs> yeah, she's very good at accents, I think. <laughs> she's done a lot of really good accents. 
um, oh, who is it? There was somebody. Have you guys seen uh, New Girl? Yeah, I've seen all of it. I love the show. Yeah, we 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 binged it. I had to rewatch it so I could get Mr. CC to watch it. But um, Winston, it you know, like he has an American accent in that show, and I'm pretty sure he's an American actor. But in the new Bloodshot movie, he has a British accent. Oh, really? Yeah, he's like the the tech guy. Oh, that's awesome. So. It's just, it's super interesting to see actors, you know, like switch accents and stuff. And you're like, wait, which one is real? I know. <laughs> it's especially weird when you watch somebody and they use the accent that they don't actually have. And then you see them in an interview and you're like, huh? What? what? <laughs> <laughs> That's how you really sound? Oh, oh, oh my. <laughs> I had no idea. Like uh, the new Spider-Man. Crap, what is his name? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, what is his name? Tom. Uh, yeah, is it um, Tom? Tom, Tom yeah. Collins? Tom, Tom Holland. Hollingsworth? Something like that? Tom yeah. Holland? Oh my gosh. I'm trying to look it up as well. Like, ooh, what is his name? Yeah, Tom Holland. Yeah. So that caught me off guard as well. But I was watching like a clip where he switches back and forth. Um, and so that was pretty interesting. I was like, well, it's like me when I uh, am too too tired. I do, do do weird accents, different accents. <laughs> Just switching back and forth. Hey, Butt Chop, can you say something? I'm not sure if I can hear you. I was just letting you guys talk. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was nice that you guys were talking and stuff. So. Oh, okay. I was being I was being a good boy. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Billy says, "Wow, I never knew Margot Robbie was on Neighbors, and I never knew Chris Hemsworth was on Home and Away." Yeah. yeah, and Steve Reynolds is excited about coming, walking into hearing about some Aussie shows. <laughs> uh, he, he was like, "What have I walked into? People talking about <laughs> yeah, stuff I'm familiar." So <laughs> And it looks like Jay Studios has joined us. This is the second sec second section, Jay. Number two. But not in a bad number. Not that kind of number two. Oh, Jay. yeah. Whoops. Keep it out of the toilet, Jay. <laughs> and uh, Fazoom is here. Good morning, Fazoom. Oh, bye, Jay Studios. Old gray brick. Wait, you didn't have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, scared he him away from the job? No, no. He he has he spoke school. and he's like, I'm out. <laughs> he, has he has school. Don't. Don't. <laughs> he has school. school. And, and Ingrid said, This is scary. This is the spider thing that goes on the front of the on the front of the right. fortress. I believe this comes to life. And I would not want to meet it in a dark alley. <laughs> oh, for Zoom. Is here. Yep, I said hi. For Zoom, hello, good morning, he said. And that's old gray brick. Just ain't what it used to be. <laughs> old gray brick, just ain't what it used to be. Sorry. I'm in a really good mood. I went upstairs. I got. I had a cold pancake out of the fridge. Mm -hmm. And that rejuvenated all my health, so I should be able to make it through this level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what happened I mean, too. That's what you do during the stream. It's like a pretend it's like a big video game, and you have to make it through each level. And, and yeah, she's got her Mario shirt. There you go. She knows. I do, going. yeah. Uh, so yeah, that can cake was like a super mushroom, so I should be able to get stomp the Goombas and get through this level. <laughs> okay. That's what you do. You just have to keep on listen to, listen to your body's signs. If your body says you need something, don't be afraid to do it. Okay. What was that? Did you hear that? That was great. Yeah, the people downstairs have decided to start drilling. 
It's awesome. I love morning drill. <laughs> so, you know, that's, that's really nice of them to, to be drilling. I know it's like and 10 here now, 10, 1030 or something, but still it's like it doesn't great, help great timing. It doesn't <laughs> help that you live on top of an oil. <laughs> <laughs> they're, drilling, they're drilling for oil. <laughs> okay. I'm starting the actual building now. So that's, the, let me see if maybe you don't really need to see me. Because I think pretty much everyone knows what I look like. So I'm going to try to do this. Oh, you can still unfortunately see me. Let's zoom in a little more. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I finished my cream, so I'm going to have to get something else. Did you put your stickers on or did you not? I didn't put mine on. Um, I did not. Because I'm sitting on bed. I don't have my teaser. So I'm oh, like, yeah. not. Yeah. There's you know probably a bunch of cat hair in here and stuff. Ew, just kidding. And you know what though? You don't want to if you got the worst place to put stickers on is a water bed. Really? <laughs> yeah. You just like put it on and you wobble a little and then it's just done. <laughs> it's just everywhere. The sticker doesn't, like, even yeah. the, doesn't even get on the right part. <laughs> so now okay, what are you putting up now, Adora? Are those the pillars? Yeah, a couple of columns. Okay. Oh, nice. The Nexo shields, the light bluish gray yeah. Nexo shields. That looks cool. And then they've got a bit of a hinge. So I think that we're going to have a bit of an angle going on with some of them. So, yeah. Yeah, I think they do. Yeah, cool. That's going to look cool. Yeah. And then I've done these ones at the back as well, which are really cool looking too with the flame. Yeah, I love those beveled, the the cylinders when they're, they have that beveling or the the, sl the slant the yeah that's gorgeous it looks like big columns yeah the grooves yeah. and then those torches are phenomenal those torches are really cool very yeah. the torches remind me of like roman times or greek yeah. like hercules torches hercules so that's cool yeah so What's been going on in the chat? Let's, uh, we got Brick, uh, Ingrid saying hi to Bricks Bunny's TV. And those, I love Bricks Bunny's TV. I love Ingrid Wynn. If you're not familiar with either of those channels, make sure you check those two channels out for Canadian and East Coast fun. <laughs> and then Brett Bill says extreme chop close up. Yes. I'd rather have you see my dad bod, my dad gut. Mm -hmm. And look into the eyes of I can't even do this right there. The eyes of the skull skull. And we have what did Ninja say? For my A falls that haven't ever quit and been collecting since a kid. Oh yeah, I love that track. If anyone hasn't checked out that track, I have linked Ninja with the bricks is uh bonded by the bricks strictly for my A falls. I put it in so many of my descriptions you need to be clicking on that track it is amazing if you haven't heard it i i don't even really want to know you anymore because it should be community-wide theme song uh it is a smooth flow and it's got kevin hinkle's keynote speech from Brickworld last year it's got a woo from bricksmith it is literally a bomb track so check that out, please. Check that out for yourself, not for me. You're not helping me. You're helping yourself. Yep, fun fact. Old Grey Bricks has never had a dark age. 40 years plus loving the brick. That is dedication. And Ninja wants to know any updates on the breadsters. Oh, that's right. I was giving breadsters out last year at the 72-hour stream. Uh, this pandemic has caused the factory, the breadster factory is shut down. So what's a breadster? Okay. So, oh, great. Here we go. This is from last year. Um, you know, when, have you ever had that problem when you really, you really need a piece of bread, but the night before you toasted, all the loaves of bread in the house. So you're surrounded by toast. You've got just so much toast. You just want a slice of bread. You take that toast, you put it in the breadster, pop it down, and when it comes back up, you have a nice, fresh piece of bread. Because you know that happens. You, you, you get on a toasting stint, and you just toast all the bread in the house. 
You know what I mean? It just happens. And so you're just like, why do I have all this toast? I need a slice of bread. So hence the bread stir. And a lot of people were supposed to get one last year. <sighs> Living the 80s Garfield life? Yeah. We already talked about that. Sarah does not do mornings. Uh, Garfield style. I don't do mornings. She just needs a pan of lasagna and she'll be all better. So oh, send, a pan, send a pan of lasagna to Sarah Star for her morning <laughs> snack. <laughs> I think that actually would help though. You should have a pan of lasagna in the morning. That would definitely perk you up. Maybe I'll make it on Saturday. So you think you could infuse caffeine into lasagna? Because that would be the ultimate breakfast. I agree. You have Caffe all your important foods. Caffeinated Jeez. lasagna. Let's get to work on caffeinated lasagna for this year's stream. Cheese, pasta, caffeine. I'm down. Oh, yeah. We've got all the food groups. Caffeine's a food group, right? It is good. Ninja Libre? Oh. Oh. Um, uh, <laughs> bye, bye, Ninja. Thanks for being here. Oh, bye, Ninja. For Zoom, bye. Uh, quick rundown of what everyone's building. We've got Cafe Con Lego is building the Wonder Woman 84 set. Uh, Sarah Star Bricks. Yep, there we go. That one. Sarah Star Bricks just completed this set. Yep, she's got it right there. That is the Legoland exclusive drainage. Choo -choo. This is what you felt. <laughs> that was crazy. It flashed from the actual train to the box. And <laughs> Adora Builds is just booking it on the Disney cast. Look how far she's gotten. I know. She's going to finish it by the, the end uh, of the stream. Yeah, I hope you bought two of those, Adora. You're going to need two of them. <laughs> if I finish this, I'm going to come start on the train, the Disney train. Oh, you have the train? Well, then you're set. Yeah. <laughs> And are those going in your city? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I'm building Darmadon's Dark Fortress from 2012 for Zoom. I don't have any box art to show you. Um, you have to use your imagination. Anyway, it's a black castle with a bone spider on the front. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you have to go to work today, Ingrid? Oh, it's good to see us all before being tortured at work. I hope they don't torture you too much, Ingrid. You tell them Butt Shop said to be nice. They'll know. They'll be like, oh, okay, you were sorry. We didn't realize you knew him. <laughs> and uh, John Y says he's Canadian. Oh. And he's new here. But I know you, John Y. You might be new to Cafe Con Lego, but you're not new to me. And he's yeah, I've, I've seen him before. Oh, yeah. That's that's John Wong. That's my guy. He's building the second build of the Creator 3-in-1 toy shop. That's excellent. Okay. That's an excellent set. And <laughs> Bubble Bricks goes, LOL, what's a breadster? Here we go. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yes, Cafe Con Lego did open the breadster can of worms. <laughs> I tried. I did not want her to do it. I did not prompt that. She did it. And Billy Crandall, this stream will go until 5 Central. I don't know what time zone you're in. It's a three-hour block that um, Cafe Con Lego generously took. Yeah, and I thought it was actually next week. <laughs> so, and next week is the Friday that I'm off. So I got to, like, log in to work and stuff. No! Yeah. I know. Shut up. So I actually had to ask my manager to finish early today so I could stream <laughs> next week. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I would have taken the slot then. I didn't know you had to work. It's okay. Um, I mean, I work from home, so it's, it's oh, not okay. like... Oh, so you can nap on the clock. Great. Well, I, I wouldn't necessarily say that, just in well, case I anyone... Would. <laughs> 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 You don't have to say it because I just did. <laughs> and if your boss is watching, um, don't listen to me. 
<laughs> Don't worry, I'll get you out of trouble. I'll get you into trouble and then back out of it, okay? <laughs> there's there's been quite a few times where I'm like, uh, I don't have much work today. I kind of want to stream, but I'm like, it would mm-hmm. be my luck. Yeah, your supervisor would be tuning in. <laughs> like, so I saw you busy at work. I saw you busy at work today. You built three sets, huh? <laughs> no, no, that wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, because a lot of them have kids and stuff, mm-hmm. and like, somebody even said in a meeting, they're like, "Sorry, my my kid had a Lego meltdown," oh. and I was like, I wanted to be like, "Oh, what set is it?" <laughs> and uh. <laughs> Oh, I have that one. I built it yesterday on YouTube. Yeah, so then I was like, okay, yeah, it, it would totally be my luck for this. Yeah, you don't want to blow your cover. Yeah, don't blow your cover. Don't let them know you know anything of Lego. That way, if they see this, you can be like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't play with toys. I don't play with toys. Do I look like a toy player? Come on. Well, I do have like pop figures and in the Valentine's Day bear on my desk at work. Oh, never mind. You already blew your own cover. Yeah. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Cat's out of the bag. Your cat was supposed to laugh. So when I said cat. Yeah, I don't really know what you're doing. He's just trying to join. Yeah, but I mean, I did a cat joke for the cat, and the cat didn't even. <laughs> <sighs> cat. Cats, am I right, people? <laughs> <laughs> no, she's cute, though. I love when they sit with their paws like this underneath their chest. Oh, it's so cute when they do that, and they yeah. will on that. Like, Hefe does that, he'll sit up on the ottoman, and he'll be like, his paws are in. I'm like, okay, I can't even be mad at you. Ooh, I'm so mad that I can't be mad at you. Quit being cute. <laughs> it's not fair that they can pull the cute card out. <laughs> Thanks yes. so much for subscribing, guys. That's really yeah, nice. Yeah, subscribe to the panelists if you aren't. Yeah. Um, not to me, please, if you don't mind. <laughs> got a lot, I got a lot of subs that I'm trying to get rid of as it is. So if you could hit up CC, make sure you uh, subscribe to Adora Bill. She does some amazing stuff in with the amazing Friends colors. You're not even going to believe what this lady does with Friends colors. And Sarah Star Bricks is just a bubbly uh, pint of fresh air. So if you're into, you. if you're into good mood streams, she definitely does some positive streams uh, over on her channel. Thank you, Captain Cyclone, for subbing to the panel. Make sure you hit up some of these people in the chat because we have some amazing YouTubers mm-hmm. amongst us right here. Thanks, Bubba, for unsubbing. I love you, man. And I know Bubba in <laughs> real life, and I know he didn't unsub, so nice try, Bubba. That's my <laughs> buddy, Andrew. Um, I do hold on subscription drives. I gave a poly bag away once to get someone to unsubscribe to me, and then they subscribed back after they got the poly bag. Ooh, I should have known that. Okay. But, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, Brett, Brett's builds just sub to Adora build. That's great. We got the builds subscribing to the other builds. That's wonderful. We got Brett's builds and Adora builds, and the subbing continues. And, uh, you guys can check out Vazoom, who's been like, he's an old timer in the community. He had one of his sets actually, or one of, he actually designed a set that was made into a set by Lego. So if you mm. want to talk to a guy who's actually had a set made by Lego, Vazoom's your guy. He's, you like classic space? You like the stuff that I grew up with, the 80s? Uh, he's your, he's your man. And he's just started this channel that he has now, the Vazoom. So make sure you check him out. Awesome guy. Um, he's not as cool as Mark Sandlin. So just remember that when you sub to him. Um, <laughs> Mark Sandlin, he created the other set that came out at the same time as Fazoom's set. So, so was it Exoforce? No. The, um, or the no. Exo two Ideas set? It's not an idea set. It's actually... Oh, okay. Pre ideas, it was Lego Factory. Oh, so pre precursor, yeah, pre precursor to Kuso, even. So, oh. the Lego Factory sets he did the space, the normal space guys, and then my buddy, uh, Mark 
did the Space Skulls. So they did the two sets. They were a contingency plan. They go together, kind of very fun, very old schoolish. These guys are classics. Oh yeah. Oh, Thanks, bye, Billy. Oh, bye, Billy. You have to go now. I have things on my people to join later. Yep. Um. There's uh after this, Billy is Ben's brick design, and then. There's a whole schedule of people, so make sure you check out all weekend, Billy. I hope to see you in all the all, any of the streams you can make it to, buddy. Yeah. Um, yes. And Winter Bricker. Winter Bricker is here. I love her. Oh, hey, Winter Bricker. So all of the hype queens have shown up. Oh no, Captain Cyclone will not unsub to me. Oh yes, I can't make you so. I mean, no big deal, I guess. Can't win them all, right? Is there going to be a Polybag War 3 on Reed stream tonight? Good question, Gallagate. There just may be. I'd like everyone to stay. To check out as much of the... You know, I can't stress this enough. Who knows what's going to happen? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, who, I seriously, I don't even know what's all going to happen. Cheryl laughs, but I'm not joking. Like that's the amazing. It's like part. actually a nervous laugh though. It's like a nervous laugh. Like oh my gosh. <laughs> no, nothing bad. Every year, just the <laughs> most fun and like craziness ensues. Like positive, good fun. I mean, I think people leave the seventy-two hour stream that they're, they're tired, but that it's a good kind of you know like it's you feel good. It's a I don't know. It's supposed to be a positive thing. So. Uh, I know the past years we've had so much fun. So, oh, good, we got a lot of people subscribing to for Zoom. Uh, he is—he's a nice guy, an all-around nice guy. I don't think I'm subscribed to for Zoom. Oh. Let me look him up. Well, that makes me sad. I know. I didn't. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, Billy's a subscriber to the next subscriber, or subscribe to the next streamer. Love you, Billy, and. Uh, yeah. If you look in Ben's brick designs uh, description, he has the full sketch in there. Full sketch. That's short. Yeah, for, for anyone continuing the seventy-two hour stream crawl, um, Ben's link to his channel is in my description it's as well. Like so underneath. just gotta click on that. Yeah, it's underneath whoever's yeah. underneath me. Um, something. Oh yeah. So you can see that Ruth is below me. And then if you go below Ruth under where you would click the likes, then you keep going down. <laughs> it's going to be down there. Okay. Now I'm just being dumb, but you know what? It's okay. Right. We only get to be dumb once a year. <laughs> or wait. <laughs> Shop. Uh, Steve, I will be awake for your stream. What time are you streaming? Let me get my schedule up. I have oh, he said his is like 12 hours from now? Um, I'm probably going to be awake for every single part of the stream. That's what I did last year, so we better do it again this year. And then I usually take a week. Um, I get on an IV drip of uh, fluids to keep me alive, and I usually go into a coma for about seven days. Then I revive, and I'm back. <laughs> Into the community, so it takes a week to recover from three days of stream. For anyone interested in staying up with me, it, it only takes a week to recover, so it's not that bad. I'll try my best. No, I do not want you to try that. I'm not serious. <laughs> I, I fear for people's health when I do that. It's okay to endanger myself. I'm not trying to endanger anyone else. <laughs> Well, yeah, we'll see what I, I got going on. I really do want to try to like stop by as many people's streams as I can. I, I'm sorry that I missed ninjas because oh, no, no need to apologize. That's but that's the that's the kind of the fun of it is that yeah you you might not make it to all. I mean we all have lives. You're not gonna make it to all of them. But the cool thing is is that you know if you get a free top free half hour hour, there's someone stream going on. Like, you don't have to be like, I wonder what's going on. You're like, I know there's someone streaming. You don't even have to. <laughs> like, there's no, there's no guessing. It's, I, I took the guessing out of it. So now you just go to stream. 
all day long. Whenever you got time. It's really nice because it's like constant company for the whole weekend. Oh, so yeah. you never have to feel alone. Like I want to build Lego or do something. Well, there's someone to hang out with. Yeah, there's gonna be someone around, and that's what's fun. Like, imagine, <laughs> imagine being like, "Oh, I wish I had someone to play Lego with." Oh wait, I do. It's the seventy-two hours. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly how I look at it, and um, that's it. It brightens. It brightens my day. And if I can brighten one other A fall or T fall or K fall day, let's do it. Anyway, yes. 2 a.m. on Saturday, huh, Steve? I am going to make sure that I am there for you. My 2 a.m. hour time. Oh, gosh. Or it's going to be for you. Three. Yeah, that should be perfect for you. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm yeah, not a morning person. I'm allergic. Like, you, you saw this. <laughs> that, that's exactly why. <laughs> she also doesn't do mornings. So this is a special treat, everybody. Don't expect any more of these uh, Cafe Con early morning streams. It's not going to happen, people. Okay? This is a one one time only. I promised her next year she can pick a prime time East Coast slot. So she's got next year, you're not going to be seeing her in the morning. Okay, people? Thank you. <laughs> of course. Yeah, Ben's, Ben's Brick Designs. It would be awesome if you were doing... Uh, oh, Ben's Brick Designs loves your sign, as does everyone, Adora. Well, thank you. Yeah. And Steve Reynolds, you know I'm going to be there for my Aussie, my Aussie co-producer, co-founder. You know I love the, all the Australians. You know I love all the people in, in the UK. You know I love all Europe. I'm just a huge Europe fan. Like, not the band who sings Final Countdown. They're okay, but I like the continent a lot, and I'm big into Australia, so, um, you know, put another shrimp on the Barbie, all that. <laughs> <laughs> you know. A ding away, my baby. <laughs> you know how that goes. I've it's lost so many for those dingoes. They're, they're all the famous expressions. It's either about food or death. Right? <laughs> Put another dingo on the Barbie. <laughs> Put another dingo on the baby. That could be the new saying. That'll really get them thinking. Like, what? Put another dingo on the baby? I don't get it, but it sounds very Australian. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, Ruth, how many times have you actually said putting shrimp on the Barbie? I've never actually cooked shrimp on a Barbie at all. Right, it's actually not. It's <laughs> <laughs> you guys have prawns, right? It's, yeah, normally I'd, we'd say, I'd call them prawns. And I'm pretty sure it's a fictional. If it's if a we're fictional. Having a, yeah, and if generally if we're having a barbecue, then that usually means like sausages. Right. And they eat a lot of lamb. Yeah, my stepdad's yeah. actually a farmer and he farmed wheat and sheep up right. until he semi-retired and now he just farms sheep. And they call breakfast brekkie? Yeah. Yep. And then... Either you either put an O on the end of something or an E on the end of something. Right. It's vowels galore. You want an extra vowel? Go down under. Go down under. We'll give you an extra vowel. It's like yeah. if you were on Wheel of Fortune, you'd be set because you'd have so many vowels. <laughs> <laughs> I like to buy a vowel. Brecky, yeah. avo, avo, servo. And, then, and you call, if you see a, a, a lady that you like, you call, she's a Sheila. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even really have to like her in order to call a female. Well, you can dislike a Sheila, but yeah. I, want, I want it to be a positive term, so let's go with <laughs> I like that. And I also like the, the word modification. I feel like the Australians were just ahead of the times because now it's really cute and cool, right? To add like wise and stuff to the end of words. It's very cute. A lot of people in the US say brekkie now too. So I guess mm -hmm. uh, the Australians were just ahead of it. Well, you know, criminals are cutting edge. They are. Ahead of time. <laughs> they have to adapt. If nothing else, we're innovative. Innovative, <laughs> yes. And then, how do you say? Um, 
oh, what's the word? There's a word that I love how it's said. Never mind. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> We're getting a call. Uh, go ahead, guest. You're on the air. Go ahead, guest. You're on the air. Oh, I thought we were doing like a live radio show. <laughs> oh, Sorry, that was me. That's our number 15. I was waiting too. I was like, who is it? Oh my goodness. Hey, Carl. <laughs> yeah, nobody ever calls me. And of course, the one time I'm screaming. It's probably, your, it's probably your job being like, you had to leave early for this. We're watching you right now. <laughs> we know what you're doing. I'd just be saying to them, well, why aren't you commenting? I hope that oh, you yeah. like <laughs> Why aren't you saying hi in the chat? If you're watching, you're saying, the subscribe to the other channels. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so it looks like they're having fun in the Ben's Brick and Sausage and Veg. Next year, we come back for the prime. Yeah, sure, if CC will be having a prime time slot next year. I already set that up. You can get anything you want at Alice's Restaurant. Yeah, I told Steve about that song, Arlo Guthrie. It's a great song. And he says, the Aussies love me back. Oh, you got to make the newbies do the time first. Uh, Galligate is putting you through the ringer. She's oh, my gosh. <laughs> you got to give the newbies the bad time slots. Yeah, they got to they gotta pay their dues before they get the coups. Oh, my gosh. Galligate. So hey, well, welcome, caller. Go ahead, caller. Yeah, go ahead, call. Long time listener. For we some should time. do a call in show. Wouldn't that be fun? If we... Go ahead, caller. You're on the air. <laughs> Imagine and, the the funny, and the funny thing is that Chad from Albany, I'd probably know him because I went to school in Albany. <laughs> <laughs> All nice. weird. <laughs> I think I do need StreamYard next time. Yeah, Ben, you could even oh uh, you don't you have an hour to actually do StreamYard, which is so easy to set up. You don't have to download anything. Uh, it's a web-based stream system, so it literally takes two seconds. They send you, you don't even have a password. They send you the number, they send you a number to your email every time you use it. And then you can stream for free from it. So, Ben, if you actually wanted to, you could use StreamYard right now. You technically have an hour, and it only takes 15 seconds to use it. Like, I'm not joking, buddy. Um, your link won't be the same. We'd have to update your link. But if you did that, booyah, baby. You could have people on, um, and then, yeah, you could have a whole panel. We'll have callers. Uh, we'll give away, we'll do it. And the, whoever's the 20th caller gets new kids on the block tickets. Think about it. Yes, Think about uh, it. It's me. We get a 20 caller spree. We got new kids tickets to give away. Come on, who doesn't want to see them? They're so young. <laughs> and we've got, go ahead, Chad. <laughs> we got Chad uh, they like the call in show. Maybe next year we'll have to make sure we do an actual call in show. What do you guys think in the chat? That'd be really fun. This is not a StreamYard infomercial because I fought using StreamYard when they took away Google Hangouts on air. That's how we used to stream back in the day. And uh, I really, really was anti using anything. And so, but now I think for ease of access, just for simplicity, StreamYard's the way to go if you want to have someone on your stream. Mm -hmm. uh, because the stream, the OBS, even the Streamlab OBS, it's not easy to have guests. So it's just not, it, it doesn't make fiscal sense. So I am not really a huge fan of the duck, but if you want to have guests, it's the best way to go because it's, it's web-based instead of uh, software-based. Like it's not, it doesn't take up a lot of your computer. It's not hard on your computer. Whereas OBS is very hard on your computer. Your computer's trying to run this huge program that you're using a very small part of. You know what I mean? OBS is like for like professional type like streaming with all the bells and whistles. And us, most of us don't use the majority of that program. So I'm barely. Oh, he's restreaming to Twitch. That's right. 
Never mind, Ben. Maybe next year. I know you do multi stream. He does multi streams to like two other platforms. So that's why he. Okay, that makes sense, Ben. No worries. I was just trying to let you know it's super, super simple for any other time you want to have guests. But no worries. That's pretty cool. He's streaming the Twitch. Have you guys thought about um, also streaming on Twitch? I haven't. Um, um, I have, but that's only because I would do it on a different channel and uh, for more so gaming stuff. Because I think gaming is a little bit more popular to watch on Twitch, right, than on YouTube. Oh, right. but there's a, I hear there's a like a community over there as well. Oh, there is, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of build streams uh, on Twitch. I mean, not a lot compared to games, obviously, but there's more than you would think on Twitch. Uh, there's Brick and Neck. And there's Steak, uh, Steak07. Uh, I know Blaze does a bunch over there. He does not only video games, but Brick Blaze also does, um, also does builds, Lego build streams. So there is people over there doing it. It's just, it's not. It, it, I don't know. It seems overwhelming to me to try to understand it. I guess if you're not super techy, it might not be up your alley. But yeah, um, Ben's brick designs. If you talk to Nick from the Brickhead family, he runs Streamyard through OBS. So therefore, he would be. I think you're able to multi-stream and run Streamyard. Ruby. I don't know how to do it, so I, I guess I shouldn't even start talking about it. But if you can get in touch with Nick from the Brickhead family, I believe you can run StreamYard through OBS. Don't call. Hi, Atiz is live. Good morning. Oh, hi, Atiz. Oh, Atiz is live. Hey. Oh, and Billzy. Sure, Billzy from, from Australia does does it over on Twitch, too. So, Bill and Billzy mm -hmm. from Australia, Lego Masters. I didn't know that. Yeah, I think a few of the U.S. Lego Masters are over there as well. That would make sense um, because some of them don't understand. Like I know Jessica didn't mm -hmm. doesn't realize that you can stream on YouTube without having a thousand subscribers. So she does not stream on YouTube because she thinks she, you have to have a thousand subs, which is not true unless you want to use your phone, which. Well, so, she was. I, I watched one, but it, there there weren't too many people there. It was also like a, a really awkward time of the of the evening. Oh, um, yeah, I, I know she's like a thousand subs now. She does it on Instagram mostly. I think for a lot of her streams, which is not really that cool because there's no replay and stuff. Mm. And then I know I think one of the. Uh, not CrossFit girls, goodness. Uh, cosplay girls. Oh, um, yeah, they would be a twin. Maybe it was Amy. That's yeah, right. Amy Street. and there's the Star Wars. Her friend is the Star Wars chick on YouTube or something. Star Wars thing. Yeah, but it's not really like Lego stuff. I think it's mostly like cosplay stuff. Yeah, it's like send us money and we'll show you. Uh, that's what I don't like about Twitch is the Twitch girls who, um, yeah. Brick Clicker's here. How you doing, Brick Clicker? No Hi, Brick Clicker. Brick Clicker. Anyway, there's a lot of wholesome stuff here on the 72-hour stream. Wholesome goodness, family fun, <laughs> kid tested, mother approved. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did Ingrid leave? Ingrid, I think, had to go to work. Ingrid, are you here, honey? If you're here, raise your, your hand. I haven't seen her in the chat for a while. Okay. Should I be getting ready for work? She said that she had to go to work. Yeah, Yeah, she did say it's oh. nice to see us before getting tortured at work, and that was quite a while ago. Okay, my bad. So I didn't see her officially say bye, so I feel bad if we didn't. But we'll see her again this weekend because I guarantee you when she's not at work, she'll be in other streams. 
So stuff like that. So keep 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 positive. People are gonna say bye, but guess what? We're gonna see them later this weekend anyway, right, guys? So that's yeah. good. It's, it's kind of goodbye. Like, see you later. Right. Exactly. That's exactly. That's the best way to look at it. It's all good. I'm gonna try to build a little bit more Garmadon's fortress. There's some purple slopes on here. Because oh, cool. you know that um, Garmadon has his kind of his his color for his sash and everything is purple, which is a great color against black. Well, I think black and purple are, are pretty nice. Together, so. Yeah. But so then he has some purple accoutrements on the base of his fortress. This is just the front. I'm. I'm. I wish I was as far as Adora, but. I've been I know. To, She's just knocking it out. I'm trying to keep up with the chat. She's got the luxury of of my uh, my. I, just, yeah. I get to listen and build. I don't get to have to read that much. <laughs> right, that is actually a luxury when you're a streamer. Like, if you want to build, you do not want to have to interact with these people. You know what I mean. <laughs> But if you want to interact, then you don't usually get enough building done. Yeah, like it took me six hours to build the, the Iron Man helmet. Whew. And yeah, uh, like you needed two, three hour streams. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's because you're streaming when you're doing it. Though. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. you could have knocked it out of the park in an hour if you wouldn't have been streaming. Yeah, I think so. But it was, it was just me. It was just like a chill chill hangout stream. Oh, that's cool. So I was reading the chat and stuff. Well, I got the second one in my CC, so that was really nice. The timing worked out for me to see a stream. <laughs> oh, geez, you oh. She doesn't know how to make tea. Oh, that's just water. On, tease, you boil water. It steeps <laughs> it itself. You put the key in the water. <laughs> I, I don't think there's an easier concoction to make. A tea. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. A, a tea is for one of our younger builders. So if you, if you don't drink tea, then why do you need to know how to make it? <laughs> well, her, mom, her mom drinks it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not really a tea drinker either, but I worked in restaurants starting at like age 14, so I've known how to make tea for a long time. Yeah. It, it's real simple. I think even if you don't drink tea, boiling water and then adding a bag of herbs is pretty simple as far as <laughs> recipes go. And if you use the Keurig like I did this morning... It's even oh. more simple. Oh my gosh, yeah, that even takes that takes the you don't even have to watch the water boil. I know sometimes people give me a hard time because sometimes I do it the really lazy way and I microwave a coffee mug of water. Yeah. But it works, right? Or you can yeah. even use the Keurig or a coffee machine to have hot water come out. I don't right. know. Right. All you need is hot water. I mean, it's not, there's no science to it besides having hot water because that's what makes the tea steep. And actually, you don't even need hot water because you can make sun tea. Jennifer makes tea in the sun all the time. She puts the tea bags in a big glass thing that has a cover on it and then puts it out in the sunlight and the sun literally brews the tea. Wow. So I think I would make, I think I would drink more tea if I uh, was refrigerating it after I made it because that, I don't really like hot drinks. I like that's everything what, cold. That's what sun tea is, um, Sarah. Do you have, do you get any sun in the Netherlands? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Loaded question, right? Uh, once in a while. But if you make sun tea, it's cold tea. You make it in the sun, you bring it inside after it's brewed, you put it in the fridge, and you got sun tea. I bought Jennifer, it's kind of like a jug with a lid, and then it's got a little spout on the front. So you can just go blink, and then the tea comes out. You put it outside in the sun, you bring it in, put it in the fridge, and then you just open the fridge door and put your cup under there, and sun tea comes out. It actually really tastes good. And wow. it's made with the sun. It's free. That's crazy. Ooh. Free energy. The sun is doing it for you, baby. <laughs> you let the sun do the work. But no, I, I like sun tea, but we can't make it in winter. So 
We have to wait for summer. Sun tea. You can look it up online if you ever get the hankering. But maybe, I actually think that I will. That maybe, sounds interesting. There's lots of different techniques, people. Tea and a biscuit, right, Ruth? Yes, tea and a bicky. Tea and a bicky. Oh, oh my goodness, a bicky. <laughs> a bicky oh, like that. Let me get a bicky for my brekkie. Oh, <laughs> I want to be Australian. That's so When cute. I grow up, I'm going to be Australian too. I know. I want to be Australian too. Guys, we don't grow up in Australia, though. We just stay as young as possible for as long as possible. <laughs> we're gonna when everybody here grows up, we're gonna be Australian, and we're gonna take the country by storm. They're gonna love us. Yeah. They're gonna love us. Yeah. You've been I've, I've actually been invited there by a few Australians, so. I can't be that horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Usually they don't ask you to come to their country if they don't like you. That's what I, I mean, unless they're going to do something bad to you, which let's hope not, right? Yeah, sure, come on down. <laughs> I have a so, friend who lives in Sydney. Oh. Inside the opera house? I wish. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so cool. The Phantom of the Sydney Opera House. I don't know. Uh, she might. I haven't talked to her in a while. <laughs> I, first, I I know the Phantom of the Sydney Opera House personally. <laughs> like that's a lot of clout right there, sir. That's a lot of clout. So Simon just finished his porridge. So he's set for the day. Don't mm. forget your don't forget your spotted dick and your uh, what else do they eat? They're bangers and mash. <laughs> oh, tea and a tiff tiffin is a British thing. You get a tea and a tiffin. Tea is Irish, yes, a tea is. People in Ireland drink tea as well. It's almost like it's a worldwide thing. Tea is actually very popular in almost every part of the world. I think maybe Antarctica doesn't have a lot of tea drinkers, but there's not a lot of people in general, so... When you're in Japan, it's super weird because every meal you have, every restaurant you go to, they give you free tea. Right. Not water, but tea. It's always like, here's your cup of tea. And it's always different tea, too. So you drink it and you're like, what's this one going to be? <laughs> well, I wish I could go to Japan. And I, I would like that. I would like to get be served tea with every meal. Yeah, that's one place that we, we're hoping to go to at some point. Um, there's some Groupons for travel to Japan, like the tours and stuff? Oh. Yeah. The problem with Japan is you really have to give at least two weeks to go because it's like you want to experience everything. And since it's so far away, you want to really plan a big chunk of time. And that's hard for a lot of people. <laughs> and tea goes well. It's popular everywhere. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> tea, is, tea is worldwide. I think. Sarah, it, oh, oh, go ahead, Bacha. Nope, you heard it. Oh, I was going to say, it's probably the same thing for traveling to Australia, because it probably takes just about as long, at least yeah, for me. I agree. Oh, and that's yeah. one of the reasons I haven't gotten over to Australia yet, is because it needs to be a, probably like two or three weeks. You need a week just to like um, recover from the time difference. You talk, about right. jet, you talk about jet lag. If you're going from the U.S. to there, it's like a 12-hour, you know what I mean? Like... Mm -hmm. That's a huge, huge difference. Like you're not even in the same day anymore. You're on a different day when you get there. You <laughs> literally travel time. So like your body and brain are like, where am I? And what time of the day is it? <laughs> like that's not yeah. to assume. I my wife from everything. <laughs> I would get. I would want. Yeah, you wouldn't you say, Adora? Like a, maybe like four days to assimilate to the time change. Or am I exaggerating that? Yeah, like I've, my sister lives in the UK and so I've gone over to visit her. She's come over with my niece and my nephew a few times. Mum's gone backwards and forwards as well. And I think it's also about picking the right flights. Mm. So you, if you can get a flight leaving in the evening, then you can try and sort of sleep on the plane a little bit, yeah. which means that then when you arrive, your jet lag isn't too bad. But yeah. again, it also just sort of depends on what you're doing. Like obviously, when when I'm when we're seeing family, then it's more about family than tourist stuff as well. Right. So, right. 
you know. Yeah, and it's no, a little bit easier staying with family and that sort of stuff too where you can sort of get up in the middle of the night and make a cup of tea. Yeah. <laughs> have yeah, some porridge. Yeah. <laughs> to so try you, and sort it, yourself out if you're doing family too, I suppose you don't have to worry about like, is this tourist thing open when I'm awake? You know what I mean? Yeah. It, like, it doesn't matter because yeah. you're you're with them. You're there to see your family, not to go to the Eiffel Tower yeah. or wherever. Is the Eiffel Tower open? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it also sort of helps because then we can sort of help a bit. Like if the kids and Claire are coming over here, then we can sort of find some cool stuff to do with them anyway. Yeah. So you take them to the wildlife park and that sort of stuff. So, yeah. Right, that's cool. I just figured it would be kind of, kind of crazy to, to for the time change. Like if I just went over there and was like staying in a hotel and everything, you'd feel like you're kind of discombobulated. Like, yeah. Okay, it's nighttime here, but I feel like it should be daytime or vice versa. And it's just like oh i gotta figure this out like your brain doesn't even probably doesn't even like comprehend it at first you know yeah this global situation has actually been a major break for me because for the past couple years it's been traveling non-stop for like all the time and there were times when it was like flying to japan and then flying to the u.s and then flying back here and your time your time in your head just gets completely wrecked yeah oh then you know first you know firsthand yeah I don't have it as bad as some people either. So it, if you're really sensitive to that, it's just awful. I, w I wonder if like, if you already have like say mental instabilities, if that would kind of wreak havoc, like if you already have like say depression or bipolar or something, would you think that would affect, affect you a lot more? I actually think it does, yeah. I think that if you have something like that, it messes with your equilibrium a lot more. I think that's right. probably true. Well, yeah, because when you when you deal with stuff like that, you, you, when you the more out of sync you get, the mm -hmm. more I think active those problems might be because that has to do with chem like depression has to do with my serotonin or whatever. So if that goes out of whack, your your biological like clock is out of whack when you're releasing these chemicals or when you're taking your medicine now you're you're throwing it all off kilter so i would imagine that could be something that would be maybe a concern at least and it's even things like sleep is so important for mental health so even you know missing the sleep and like you said um as well even taking medications at the right time gets really difficult if you're traveling and yeah when things are supposed to be happening yeah that's crazy i don't think even sometimes people don't even think about that stuff like i never thought about it till what you what sarah was talking about of being traveling all that much or being that that far out of your time time zone <laughs> yeah it can be really stressful and especially when it's just one trip after the other. There's been a lot of times where I came home and I unpacked a suitcase and threw in new clothes and left again, like the I next know. day. Well, mm. I would not know. I think and that is this for like vacation too? Uh, mostly not. Um, You're my, an army brat, aren't you? Well, yeah, but since I've moved here, my, my partner had a job where he had to travel a lot for work. So oh. we were just traveling a lot for work. There were also a lot of vacations as well, but most of it was work travel. I thought when you had told me when you were growing up too, you were army. Yeah, I was an army brat. So you'd think I would have a little bit more like, uh, I don't know, flexibility in that type of life, but. I don't know, like that might not be something you can ever really be ex completely accustomed to, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just weird, I think, when you don't have time to, like, set up your stuff at home. Like, stuff here mm -hmm. is still a mess. There are boxes here from three years ago. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. I suppose. You don't have time. <laughs> if you're on the go. It was really crazy. This has been, like, a really different – staying home all this time has been really different. That's got to be nice for you, then. I mean, you probably appreciate it more than people who get to stay – like. Like uh, Cece said, she's a homebody, and I generally, I don't. I go to work and I and I stay home. So, 
it's like I don't go out much. So I don't, you know, you take for granted that you get to be at home and comfortable. And you know what I mean? You have some kind of base, base camp where you can, I don't know, feel safe and, and at home, you know. Yeah, my cat loves it. There was a time last year where we were gone for like three months straight. I felt so bad for her. Well, mm. yeah, that's not even cool. The cat's probably like, literally, have you abandoned me? Like, what did I do wrong? Yeah. <laughs> I, I love you. Why don't you love me? <laughs> uh, looks like we've had a lot of travel talk in here, too. Simon Moss wouldn't mind visiting Japan. And... Uh, Atiz wants to go see the landscape in Japan. Uh, I, I'm huge into the trains that run in Japan. I used to collect the trains, toy trains, Japanese toy trains. So I would love to tour Japan on the rails on some of my favorite Japanese trains. I think I would be, I would be so excited to ride all the trains around Japan. Um, so it looks like some people joined us uh, that we did not. Uh, acknowledge bricks and runners. I'm sorry. Good morning, bricks and runners. Hey, bricks and runners. Sorry that we didn't say hi. Hi, we Mark. We were uh, in deep conversation. Thermoflavins and riboflavins. Simon Moss is getting chemically chemically breaking down tea in the chat. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. And uh, don't knock the bangers. They're so good. Bubba Bricks likes bangers and mash. I'm not knocking them. I. I not knocking British food. Conversely, when family visits, you take them places you normally wouldn't go on your own. That's yeah. that's true. That's what I do. And uh, trying to sleep in a hotel when you're three year old still in UK time was shattered after the eleventh flight. Not much sleep. Oh my gosh, Galliot, I can't imagine. I suppose on kids it would be even tougher mm -hmm. for that time change because. Like as an adult, you realize what's happening, so you can kind of mentally prepare and you understand why you feel the way you do. But a three-year-old is not going to grasp what's going on at all. <laughs> that makes sense, Gallagher. And Steve says he feels like an Aussie takeover of the stream at the moment. <laughs> yep. That, that's, that was the plan, wasn't it, Steve? Didn't we get together and decide that as a country? <laughs> <laughs> just, just the two of you? Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's all you need to storm the castle? That's pretty good. You guys are pretty tough. Things are organized. <laughs> Bring some beers. You sneak, sneak, in, sneak in and now it's an Aussie stream. You guys didn't even know what happened. <laughs> uh, and yeah, we're we will be winding down. How far are you on your set? To CC. Oh, it looks like you're putting the top. Oh, uh, yeah. The top Pretty array. Good. Top. The top array. Uh oh. Uh, yeah. We're just just about done. And just about did, done. Did you like those printed pieces that are on that top array or whatever? That I don't know if it's called an array. Just bear with me. Yeah, like the the satellite thing. Yeah. Um, I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's, it's, I like it. It's pretty cool. I can't really appreciate it right now because I'm so tired. But Yeah. I, why didn't you tell me that you had to work and stuff? You know you didn't have to take the slot. Well, because I, I, had, already said, I had already said yeah. So, yeah, like, I, I don't want to. <laughs> oh, the Vegemite. What's I, it's a Vegemite sandwich. We come from the land down under. Yeah. And so, actually, the, the the one and only time that, I, like, I guess I learned that word, um, I think it was on an Australian show. So, I, I really don't know how to say it any other way. Veggie uh, mite? Yeah, veggie mite. Veggie mite. What even is I that? Because I hear people talk about that, but I don't know what that is. It's a paste in a tube, and you put it on your toast. <laughs> is it like, like the, uh, I think the Scandinavians have a weird toothpaste tube of stuff, too. It's like. Fish or meat flavored? What is the veggie? Is it like vegetable flavor? It comes in a jar in Australia. Oh. And then there's what, Marmite? Yeah, it's probably closest to Marmite, but it's just like a yeast ex extract. So Marmite, um, I think in New Zealand, they usually have Promite. So 
Yeah. I like how Ruth just gets it out. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's like a staple. Yeah. Like it's not unusual for her to have it on hand. I, yeah. I only know about it from there's a Men at Work song called uh, Down Under. And yeah. when I was a kid, when I was a kid, I would sing it. And I had no idea what a Vegemite sandwich was, but I was yeah. a child in the 80s listening to the radio. It's probably like like a peanut butter and jam sandwich. Like, ah. you know, like it's just that sort of staple thing that you would have as a kid or you'd get home from school and, and have your Vegemite sandwich or for lunch or whatever. I don't think Ben's Brick Design likes Vegemite. <laughs> he did Blurg which I assume is not a positive <laughs> outlook. But I think on it's just one of those things. Like, if you've grown up with it, then you're used to it. Like, oh, right. Is it salty? Yeah. I really want to eat this because I've eaten, like, a, a lot of different types of food. I wonder if there's somewhere I can buy this here. Yeah. It's, like, personally, I like it on toast. So toast... A little bit of butter, and then you have to do like a really thin <laughs> spread. That's what, that's what I've heard from other people too. Butter and yeah. then a thin layer of the yeah, like Could quite you put often. It on like a toasted baguette. Hmm. Could you put it on a toasted baguette? Yeah. Hmm. Any kind of bread, probably. Yeah. Um. um uh, Blockhead, Blockhead UK has joined us. Kaz is here. Marmite yes. forever. Okay. Oh, Atiz has seen Vegemite in Ireland, so... Yeah, I've seen it here. I always wonder, though, like, if it's Vegemite in the U.S., is it as authentic as if I were to get Vegemite in the Australia? I mean, I don't want to buy like, it. It looks exactly Vegemite. like the, the jar oh, okay. Ruth had. I don't oh, know okay. where I was. It must have been, like, an international store. I can't... Probably. Can't but that's a fair question because I know Ritz crackers in the UK are completely different than the US Ritz crackers. And it's the same for Doritos here. Doritos in the store here are different than US Doritos. Things are made different. Like the actual product inside the bag or just the packaging? Uh, the packaging for Ritz crackers is like the same, but the cracker okay. itself is different. Huh. Like it looks similar, but it tastes different to me. Hmm. That's interesting. I think I think a lot of it comes down to the uh, the food and drug regulations here because they're yeah. a lot more they're a lot more strict about what can go inside of food, like which is good. Stuff. Which so I think the chips and things like that, like they don't even sell crunchy Cheetos here. That's just something they don't even sell. So because right, if you look at the well, if you look at the ingredients on those items, uh, there's like ninety percent of it is not necessary and not good for you if you look at cheetos you could it could be way less ingredients and still be a good product but they have salt like if the ingredients list is this long on the nutrition section you probably don't want to eat it and if you can't <laughs> pronounce what it is you don't want to eat it no and i think the doritos here they just maybe they use a different oil or they they make them differently they're smaller and they're not as crunchy, and they're just different. Probably. They probably have to use a lot of different things, and they're going to have a different consistency when you don't have all those chemicals and stuff in that the U.S. allows. Because the U.S., the FDA allows a lot of bad stuff in our food because yeah. they're paid by big business to allow mm -hmm. it. There's no ranch dressing here either. So you cannot get ranch what? dressing in a restaurant. You cannot buy ranch dressing at a store here. It is the worst. <laughs> Unless you don't care about ranch. No, I love ranch. When I go to the U.S. and I visit my family, that's in my suitcase. Like, in my checked luggage will be, like, three mega bottles of ranch dressing. People probably think I'm really weird. Yeah, and they just, <laughs> just slam. You're just like... <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a pint of ranch and you just drink it? <laughs> um, I'm not that desperate yet, but it's it's getting close to that. Wow. And sometimes you can, you, you know, when, when you complain to other people here about how you can't buy things, they're like, oh, well, you can just buy it from the special import store. But do you know a box of, like, Lucky Charms here? That costs, like, $12. What? Oh, my gosh. That's not yeah. 
If um, Lucky Charms is not worth twelve dollars. No, and that's a small box too, not like a mega box. Mega box. For my birthday, I think I paid eight or nine dollars somewhere for a bag of Cheetos, like a small one. See, I don't eat that kind of food anyway, so it wouldn't bother me because I don't eat a lot of them. Like bad, what's considered like, I guess I eat pretty healthy. And we make a lot of our own stuff, and I don't eat chips and soda and stuff like that. So I guess it wouldn't bother me if I went somewhere because I'm not really into that in the first place. So. Oh, man, you're lucky then. I'm such a junk foodie, so I miss, like, Tootsie Rolls, Reese Cups, Starbursts, oh, yeah. Skittles. God. Well, do the, uh, the hotels might have some of that stuff because I feel like I didn't notice that it was missing. I, I don't know, maybe, but I I have a hard time finding that stuff here. I mean, Ooh. and in the UK, sometimes you can get some things, but here, I don't know why they just don't sell anything. Hmm. Yeah, it might just depend on like, who's around. I was actually really surprised at how easy it was to actually get Vegemite in the UK, but I also know that there's a lot of Aussies there. So, mm. you know, there's sort of got to be a bit of a market for it. That would make sense. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to look for it because I want to try Vegemite. I think there's, I think it, there's, it, there's, a, a, there's a good amount of UK people too in Australia, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. So it's like back and forth. Well, yeah, I think it's just being part of the Commonwealth, really, isn't it? Right, and I mean, basically, the, the besides the Aborigines, the first people there were of British, when well, they were British people. So there's got to be some connection still, even though that was how long ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was a U.S. candy store. They were asking five dollars for a for a small bag of peanut butter M and M's. Five dollars? No, you don't know. No, Galgate. I would rather mail you M and M's and pay twelve dollars to ship them to you than have you pay five pounds for a small bag of M and M's. I'll mail you them one at a time in an envelope. <laughs> Just kidding. It'll take you weeks to get the full bag, but or else you get twenty envelopes all at once, each one with its own M and M. Seems like a lot of work. <laughs> I don't see <get> real <laughs> M&M's. Starburst used to be called Opal Fruits in the UK before it changed name. Oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Ben's birthday. Well, I, I'm under the uh, I'm under the belief. Well, I used to be a, I was a chef, and I'm under I'm under the belief I will try anything. I'm not afraid. Like he says, you should at least try it. And I think that's true. Like, I, I, I don't like when people refuse to try something. And, it, you know, you should at least try it. If you don't like it, that's cool. But, I mean, be open and try different foods. Who knows? You might be missing out on something. I'm willing to try, like, I would say 85 to 90% of things. There are well, some things I'm okay without trying. Well, yeah, like maggots and stuff. I'm not telling you to eat like, like maggots, yeah. uh, rats, yeah. you know. Crickets. I'm good. Crickets I would eat. I would probably eat a cricket if it was. I've eaten crickets. They're good. Crickets and grasshoppers but, are crunchy delights. You fry yeah, them. Yeah, I would do I guess if, if it was like already like a, a bar or something. But I think it was on the Amazing Race. They had to eat them alive. No, I probably wouldn't want that crawling around in my esophagus. <laughs> Cricket crawling up and down your esophagus and also making chirping sounds when you burp. <laughs> <Cricket chirp. laughs> uh, uh, yeah, they're all talking candy. Now you got them going, Sarah, and you're even in the I know, chat. I do it every time. Going. I feel like I shouldn't even stream Lego anymore because every time I stream Lego, it comes down to ice cream and junk food and food. Right. I think I'm my my personal passion for food just like leak into everything. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Uh, Steve Reynolds, I love that when there's a baby when uh, there's a baby Ruth in the pool, they throw a baby Ruth in the pool in Caddyshack, and then Bill Murray is cleaning the whole pool because all the rich people jump out of the pool because they think the baby Ruth is something else. And uh, <laughs> then he picks it up. He goes, I found it, and he takes a bite out of it, Bill Murray. And the people don't know that it's a candy bar because <laughs> they're still under the assumption that it's something else. So it looks like, so to them, it looks like he just found the, the you know what, the turd and took a bite out of it. <laughs> Quite the movie moment if you haven't seen that part of the movie. Or if you haven't seen Caddyshack, it's worth it for that scene alone. Just to see the look on their faces when they think that Bill Murray's, you know, I, I got it. <laughs> it's just a candy bar, but oh, a tease is getting some K-pop stuff up in the chat. A tease. K-pop. She's gotta get that K-pop in because we only got fifteen minutes, cafe. Yeah, and I'm done. I finished. Nice and so oh, awesome. Adora's done too. She's on the last. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at the screen so fast. I was like, what? <laughs> Wouldn't you be impressed if also you look up and she's like, "Yeah, hey, I'm on the final bag. I, I only need 15 minutes. I'll have her done." <laughs> uh, okay, so I'll make myself large here look. for a second. Yeah, show it off. Show us um, the features. So, yeah, so this turns, which I think is pretty cool. But the gears on on the inside here are like these yellow. Yellow gears. Let me see if I can take this off. Oh, yeah. So I, I've never seen those before, so that's kind of interesting. And on the back side, there's it's like a, a fountain. Let me see if I can move my light. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose some of the set might be confusing because we don't actually have the movie to base any of it on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You said that earlier, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, what is this? Like, exactly. Yeah, I have no idea what the scene is, and maybe Lego should return to um, putting the comics, comic strips inside the, the sets. Right, but then with the movie oh, company, yeah. you have, that would be a spoiler, since it's movie-related. I don't think it's a plot. You know, that but it is, it'll be interesting to see what it, I guess, is. Because I've seen so many people build that set, and it's hard to really explain it when there's no basis. Oh, that's beautiful. I love the arches. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I love the arches and the pillars. Yeah, it's nice how they've put them all together. Like with the angles and everything, it's yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, they use those hinges, the sideways hinges, to make it. Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. That's really cool. I'll show you the front of my, the front of the fortress is coming together. It basically, looks oh, cool. like, a, like a prison right now. Cool. Um, but the front door is the circle. They use the uh, inverted, the inverted arches on the bottom and then uh, and then it looks like there actually is a prison here in the prison cell there but the whole 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 thing so far there's some graffiti uh there's a wanted poster for one of the ninja that's crudely drawn by one of the skeletons because this is the season where the skeletons are the back uh, garmadon he is just like garmadon is not have four arms this is garmadon when he first enters the Ninjago show, and that's oh, Lloyd, da Lloyd's dad. And so he is in charge of the skeleton guys. And so they must have crudely drawn the wanted poster for a ninja. And then someone is keeping tick marks. Now it's be counting down the days that they've been in this wretched prison under Garmadon's Iron fist. I don't know. It looks like it's gonna be pretty cool. This is gonna be on the front of it, so somewhere up here. I don't know. But you'll see later in the stream. Wait, Reed was here? Oh, he just said I'm heading to work. Bye, Reed. Love you. Bye. Hope Castle. Hope Castle is Reed. 
read is uh, Hope Castle is a completely huge transparent castle made out of Lego, and it's uh, he builds parts of it for cancer survivors and cancer people that we um. we've lost to cancer. So and it's it's all about um, acknowledging the disease and wow. keeping That's it in really cool. But if you haven't seen his channel, go ahead and check out Hope Castle. He does Friday Night Bricks every Friday on his channel. He will be part of the 72-hour stream. Uh, I know that's pretty – when he goes on, that's pretty late for Europe. So not surprised that you don't know. You're not familiar. Yeah, the bone in his helmet is cute. It's not in his hair. <laughs> You're so cute, Cass. That's his helmet. <laughs> uh, I've never gotten his helmet in silver. I've only had it in black, so I'm really happy to have that helmet in the silver color. It's kind of neat. But I don't know if it's focusing CC or not. There. Oh, yeah, there it is. But this is the OG Garmin on before he gains. Yeah, it's a nice figure. Before he gains his extra, extra torso and arms. So, oh, Solo Brick Builder is back. Are you at work, Dan? Yeah. Checking in from work, buddy. Buddy. <laughs> buddy. Buddy. <laughs> yeah, this is um, this is cool, Ben. I actually really like it, and I don't know. However, it attaches. There is this Technic thingamabob, so I don't know. Hopefully, it does something cool. Maybe there's a way to make it pop off and like. Trap the guy or something? Wouldn't that be cool? Oh, well, otherwise, we can pretend and have it be that. That's what Lego is about. It looks like the face hugger from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have a chest burster. Oh no, <laughs> alien! No, I love that movie. I'll be your Sigourney Weaver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice solo brick builder. Hi, Steve. Um, yeah, you, I can't believe how much you got done on that. So what bag are you on, Adora? Just let me know. Uh, bag number four. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I feel embarrassed. Yeah, Sarah. <laughs> Sarah built a 210-piece set. Of, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm just picking on you. Well, and yesterday, I streamed for like three hours, and I wow. built one bag. Hey. I built a Jeep. Hey, I'm not dissing you. You were building Stranger oh. Things. Oh, yeah. You didn't. Get, you did get the truck done. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I was like, I didn't even start the house. Well, you were talking <laughs> to everybody. I think we had really great conversation in your stream yesterday. Yeah, it was a good one. But dang, bag four. Poof. I know. And that's a substantial set. So those bags are it's not like a small bag of parts. Each bag is probably got a lot of, a lot of steps to it. Get ready for Ben now. Coffee at the ready, says Gallagher. You know it, Gallagher. Ben's okay. written design's coming up in six minutes, right, CZ? Yep. I'm trying to find his um direct link because i think i'm gonna link the channel yeah i just linked the channel in there um i can get it probably pretty quick i've already got the youtube up and on my i have a computer i have a screen over here with this is my streaming screen and i have mm -hmm. my webcam and then i have my laptop i have professional stream setup so let me just get to ben ben I'm coming for you, Ben. Oh, I'm not a, I'm not a mod, so I can't put it in the chat. I don't even know why I'm bothering. Here, uh, I, I here we go. Copied it, and I'll paste it in the internal chat here. Oh, perfect. There, and then you can post it. That as well. And you can post it in the external chat. <laughs> it's a whole rigmarole. And so. Generally, on the 72-hour stream, what we do for the etiquette of the switchover is we would stop streaming when we know that Ben is live. That way, if there's any hiccups like Ben, there's a countdown on Ben's right now at 427. Mm -hmm. So say he doesn't go at exactly that time you, so that you don't have uh, dead air. You don't have to. It's just like kind of what we do. 
to kind of make it seamless as seamless as possible. I know you have to switch channels, but um, just in case they're having like technical difficulties, so that someone's still going while he's trying to like he's a professional streamer, so you don't have to worry about it. Like Ben knows how to do it. You don't have to worry about it. CC Steve Reynolds had a fun time watching your stream and nice chatting. Um, Yay. Ren, I was have fun on your stream, Steve. If I get up that early, you think you're gonna? Mm, uh, well, it's, uh, sometimes I catch uh, Steve's streams. Um, yeah, I I try to, but if he stays up super late and I get up really early. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Beauty's in the Beast, exactly. That is that is a proper title for this the segment of oh. it. Oh, I like I that. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast is actually my favorite Disney movie, and I will gladly be the Beast. I think he is a fabulous character. I like him a lot. I'd rather be the Beast than Gaston. Am I right, people? I hate <laughs> Gaston. I hate <laughs> Gaston. You well, what did you Gaston. think of the, the live Beauty and the Beast? I, I liked it. Yeah. I liked I it, too. I, I, I didn't hate it. But um, uh, me and Indigo, we got the Brickheads, and we watched the animated one, like, together all the time. And so I love the animated one because of the, you know, bonding with my daughter, like, watching it with Indigo. And then we got the, the Brickheads and built them together. I built Beast, and she built Belle. And I like, I like, I think Belle is my favorite of the Disney princesses because she's, like, reads books, and, like, she's... She's beautiful yet intelligent, and she's sweet. So she, I think she's really a fleshed out princess or whatever they call him. She's a fleshed out character, and I think the Beast is very deep too because of his tragic, you know, what happened, and then having to learn how to love and and all that. And this is a, don't get me all crying. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, actually, uh, Belle is my one of my best friend's um, favorite Disney princess as well. So I built her the floating rose. Oh, cool! Um, and then, like put lights in it and like in the glass, put it like levitating you know, with like fishing wire or something. It it was oh wow, that's really neat. Do you have pictures? I just, hmm. Do you have pictures on your Instagram or anything of it? Uh no, it's on my like my Facebook, but I'm sure yeah. I, I can find it because I've done a few crafty things here and there. Yeah, like every time cool. someone comes to my house, my grandma wants to show them this uh Spartan sword I made out of paper mache. Nice. And I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> stop. How is it still like You're intact? <laughs> Choppy, chop, yeah. Don't get me all, all worked up on the Beauty and the Beast thing. I, get all, I just, I turn to mush. Solo, so, it's okay. Um, that's every solo. You had to get up for work, bro. Yeah, it's understandable. There's plenty more streams ahead of here. I mean, you guys act like this is the end of the world, people. We're, we're, I'm over here waiting. <laughs> Ben's Brick Design is live. Everybody head over oh, to Ben's Brick Design. Love. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's see you everyone. We'll see you over at Ben's Brick. Okay. Bye. See you Bye. in the chat. Thanks.